Hello and welcome to One Stop Co-op Shop Stream, your one stop for co-op news and playthroughs. And today we are playing through Marvel Champions. It's Terrence. What's up, Terrence? How's it going? How's it going? Uh, you only kind of missed me last week. Told me I feel like because you told me to get off. I mean, the here's the thing about last week. It was a total disaster. Let's be honest. It was a total disaster until it wasn't. Mary came in and saved the day, and she was freaking awesome. Uh, but. Yeah, the beginning of that stream was totally, uh, yeah, no bueno is the best way I could put it. Because uh, Steve, who was supposed to be joining me, kept trying to join for like 20 minutes before the stream started. He kept trying to join and just could not. And Mary's out there today. She's uh, Team Cap, apparently. And she says, woot, woot to you, Mary. Welcome. Uh, Victor Von Doom's out there as well. He's uh, Team Doom, apparently. <laughs> so clearly has his own agenda uh for us out there all right so we're gonna be playing uh i mean i called it civil war but let's be honest i'm captain america and you're war machine what how does that work out so tell us about a little bit about your deck and why it's uh <laughs> it's still appropriate here yeah, uh, so I built a War Machine deck, uh, I think when he came out, uh, and uh, as Peter knows, I just build leadership decks now, that's all I do. Uh, I mean, I built a leadership too, by the but, way, we're double uh, leadership today, so we'll see how this goes. And that means we're supposed to win, right? I mean, to win, right? I, mine's not good though, that's the difference. Yeah, so War Machine's all about getting his upgrades uh, out. Uh, there's probably a, I, I bet there's a deck that is like this on Marvel CDB. I haven't looked for it, but uh, basically, uh, Iron Man, Ally Iron Man uh, in War Machine, his signature ally allows you to basically pull upgrades out. And so you kind of want to get him set up as fast as possible. Uh, and so using things like Make the Call allows you to kind of abuse that and then call for aid. Uh, he's my only Avengers ally. Peter tried to get me put to put other Avenger allies in there, and I said no. Uh, oh. uh, so I have other allies in here, but they're all not Avengers. Um, and so, yeah, just trying to basically get my upgrades online as as fast as humanly possible. So you can, like, like these uh, suit upgrade heroes, they want to get all their toys. All right, so Victor and Wasteland said you were echoing a little bit, but I realize that's because I didn't have any headphones in. So let me know if that is better now, because uh, <laughs> it was just my speaker was blasting right into the microphone, and uh, yeah, that's no good for anybody. Uh, so is that better uh, as far as Echo? Terrence, you got to talk for them to hear. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, am, am I slack going? Probably not. Well, anyway, keep going. All right. Uh, so basically, you're doing your signature ally, who is uh, War Machine, and or I'm sorry, Iron Man. No, no, War Machine signature is Iron Man, yeah. And then he allows you to fetch your upgrades out, and so that'll allow you to basically kind of pull them from, I believe it's both your discard and library, which is That really is nice. pretty cool. All right, so I built a mostly thematic deck. I did throw in one more thing because my deck was pretty not great when I played it earlier. Uh <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Victor, sorry about that, everybody. I did not put in my headphones because I was not thinking. But uh, yeah, so I did make one small change. So I got Falcon. I've got everybody you would expect for a Civil War team, uh, which isn't very many allies, by the way. So I did throw in one ally who was too small for you to see them in the movie. Uh, it was Stinger. So I threw in Stinger into my deck just to get one more ally in there. Um, and, and I changed my deck around a little bit from uh, what... Terrence had seen, so I got cards like Last Stand in there now, which I've never used before, but we'll see how good that is. Um, yeah, but I'm start start. Do, do, do you like that over the uh, zero cost attack? One? I don't. I don't even know what you're talking about, Terrence. Uh, you know what? I'm moving my deck down here. That's it. I'm done. I can't do it anymore up there. I just I'm too used to it down here. I'm, I moved it. It's just it muscle is. memory, it is. man. And I am terrible at it. Uh, play only if you're Avenger. Heal one damage from an ally and ready it, which is great, but not for turn one. Uh, all right, so I'm going to draw four more cards and hopefully I get some double resources. Ooh, speaking of double resources, and oh, look at this opening hand. I got Falcon. I got Mighty Avengers uh, and Endurance. Who cares? Uh, I mean, I get this plus one Thwart card, too. Wow. All righty. Seems not terrible with uh, two double resources. So, yeah. Do you want to go first or you want me to go first? 
Uh, it doesn't matter to me. All right, why don't, don't you go first since you know what's going on with your deck? Um, Question for you: Are you using your ability? I was going to because that would make Falcon three and Mighty Avengers three, and I have exactly enough to pay for both of those. Okay. Uh, but what does it say? Search your deck and discard. Do do do. Re- reduce the cost of the first ally played each round by yeah. one. So actually, I can't do it if you use it if you play an ally. Well, it just means it just means I won't. Well, play hold an on. Ally. I'll just go first because. No, that's fine. I, I, I. You're not, not going to play, play Nick? Nick, okay? If I don't have the discount, if I don't have the discount, right. I'm not playing it. Uh, you should grab your shield. Oh, though. yeah, yeah. yeah. And now I went up to the uh, top of the board. By the way, <laughs> you know, you think kept shield would be easy to find, um, but he has like four cards called shield or five. By the way, I'm probably not playing it turn one, but it's better than earlier today when I used it as a resource, thinking that I could just pull it back into my hand easily. But that's a setup ability, which I totally forgot about. So, uh, yeah. So then I didn't have my shield for like... Yeah, it's, it's not me. Yeah, no, I didn't man. have my shield for like the entire game. <laughs> which, by the way, I got Shadows of the Past on uh, turn okay. one. So it wasn't a very long game, first of all. And second of all, I might have already gotten that luck out of the way for us. So Victor says, did they add another button there, Peter, since last week? Thought they only had three buttons last time. Yes, they have added every hitch has been amazing. He has added everything we asked. So here are some key features. All everything I complained about has been fixed. So you got a first player button here. Boom. Draws a first player. This is draw a card. This is discard a card. So they got those two in there, which they did not have before ready they've always had and then this one discard a random card they had that last week but uh that that was after i asked for it as well these these icons are way better than the other one yes well and here's a key feature right here they have a way to lock the player mat now in the upper left hand corner so i hit any numbers over here it doesn't matter it's not going to change the player mat to a different one which we saw was an issue last week because all your cards get buried under the mat if you switch mats and uh, because of the way these tokens work, you like just push a number on them to get whatever number you want, which is a lot slicker. Uh, oh, by the way, there is a zero on the back of these tokens as well, which I did not know about. But uh, because... Can you just no, you zero? flip F and it's zero. I mean, can you no. just hit zero? Because it's one through nine. If you look there, one out of nine. Uh, it, yeah. yeah, so okay. unfortunately not, but... Um, so if you're hitting a number and you accidentally miss and hit the mat, it would change the mat last time. Um, so no, Hitch has been amazing. He even added these buttons, uh, just like they had in the other mod, which allow you to, you know, select your seat. So if you're playing multi-handed solo, you can jump back and forth between two different seats, which I was afraid I was going to have to do last week without those buttons there would have been a heck of a lot harder. So no, Hitch has been amazing. He's added everything we've asked for, um, and so it's awesome. Um, yep. Yeah. So anyway, Terrence, I am sorry. You've done a lot of stuff, and I've paid attention to none of it. Uh, I played Quint. I flipped, uh, so I get five ammo counters. Sweet. Um, played Quinn Carrier instead of Fury. Uh, use it to pay for missile nice. launcher, and I'm gonna play assess the situation so I get a six card hand next turn. Nice. Um. Oh, we forgot to do this actually. Oh yes, yes, so. yes. So one of hoods. So we are playing as hood. We never mentioned that. Um. So we did put two random encounter sets in, although we didn't make them random because Terrence wanted to kill us this week. He chose. Oh, it, it, it came It came from, there was some podcast, uh, it was either Marvel Champions Monthly or something, where Caleb said it'd be cool to play Hood against the Black Order. He thought that'd be fun. And the Black Order immediately split across two modular sets in Mad Titan Shadow. Yes, yeah, so we got Black Order and Children of yeah. the So both in there right now, and then the rest will draw randomly. We have this random encounter uh, modular bag. We just pull them out one at a time uh, when we need the next one. But for now, we don't need another, oh, the only thing is this should be at two because we are playing a two-player game. Um, so that's a hood card. We're good. So we draw two cards. And if either of them are not hood, all right, those are your two, both hood cards. My two 
No, that's not a hood. That's not a hood card. Oh. I kind of dislike this thing. Oh, if you don't like way. that, that's okay. Over here, you can just grab regular standard. Well, mo mostly just because I don't recognize them. I mean, but, for me, it's uh, exciting. Uh, to like not... you, you just made that mistake. Well, yes. For me, it is exciting to not recognize them. Because uh, earlier today, I got Shadows of the Past, like I said, and I had no idea I got it. I started reading it. I'm like, what's this card? There's a lot of text on here. I'm like, oh, no. <laughs> That's Shadows of the Past. Uh, so Victor is super excited about the locking of the player mats. I am as well. He says, I'm going to have to try this mod now. Yes. The, I mean, literally, it, it's everything that the old mod was. I mean, there's a couple of differences. Like, I don't love the fact that this is not alphabetical, that it's in release order. Um, so it's a little harder for me to find stuff. But I can always just go to the random modular set and do a search. Um, and if I want a certain one, like Bomb Scare... Uh, for example, I just start typing it and you can get it out of the bag here. You don't have to go up here to get them. Um, yeah, and if you don't like... Oh. So when you originally set up a villain here, it'll have the villain standard and expert. Wow, that took a little bit to get out. Standard and expert cards here. And if you don't like those, you just delete them and you can pull the regular standard and expert cards from up here as well, as well as they have standard two and expert two. So if you don't like those uh, specific to the villain, you don't have to use them. All right, Terrence, you done? Is it to me? Uh, I mean, I'm just gonna attack, I think. Okay, you gonna use your missile launcher or anything? Now, should I? I don't know. I don't know, something amazing, I guess. You recognize that? I mean, it just does two damage. I mean, I did your two damage, man. No, I just need the missile launcher. Oh, and uh, I forgot his health again. All right, so the, here's an interesting part that you might not know about this mod. If you click in the corner here, you can actually type in 32 for the health and do it that way. Uh, so you could quickly... Uh, change to whatever you want. So there's a little text box up here, which we'll type over here. Of course, whatever you type will show up there. So if you type some random stuff, like words will show up there as well. Um, but, all right. So I am gonna play Falcon at a discounted cost, which means I am discarding Endurance to pay for it. So I'm paying Power of Leadership, I'm playing Endurance, and I'm getting Falcon out. When I get Falcon out, uh, after Falcon Hunters play, look at the top three cards of the encounter deck. What are you doing, man? <laughs> uh seeing what card you draw and uh search for uh for each treachery looked at this way remove a threat from a scheme now do we determine these get shuffled after we're done how does that work so two treachery boom boom do these get shuffled back in or just put back in the order that they came out uh it says look at them it used to it used to not be shuffle, but I thought they pass and rolling that anytime you look at a thing, you're supposed I thought to so shuffle. Too. But but I could be wrong about that. Uh, Victor says, "Yeah, heroes release order. I could find my way around pretty easily. Modular release order. I wouldn't have a clue." Uh, yeah, and here's the thing. Um, I know it because I've been in it since the beginning, but it does take a while. I mean, and the other thing is there's no words, right? It's just pictures. So it takes me a minute to figure out where what is. But again, it doesn't bother me because I can look in the bag always. Um, this has all the modulars, all the exact same ones. Uh, but they are in release order. So if you're doing some certain thing, then it'll be in that row. So it's usually in a row with the cycle that it's supposed to be in for the most part. Um, anyway, all right. So I played Falcon. Now I am going to switch sides and I'm going to play Fearless Determination, which gives me plus one thwart until the end of the phase and I get to draw a card. So I'm fearlessly determined. So I do thwart for three now. Not that I needed that, but I don't know. I don't even know what I was hoping to draw there, honestly. That's probably a terrible play because it could have just put something really bad. Uh, I, I could have taken something really bad out of my deck, but I'm just going to play this and this to put in Mighty Avengers. Each character has the Avengers trait, gets plus one thwart and attack. And that includes Cap, huh? No, just allies. Each of your characters, oh, each ally you control gets plus one. Okay, all right. Yeah. So 
That does mean Falcon attacks for three, though, and so do I. Uh, although I am not going to use my shield to discard. So I attack for two. Ally or Falcon attacks for three, so that's a total of five. One, two, three, four, five. Game on, Hood. Game on. Now, I did not get my shield out, but that's okay. It's fine. I'm not discarding it too ready myself. Because that is Captain America's... I haven't played Cap in so long, I always have to remember. Discard a card from your hand or ready Captain America. Limit once per round. And on this side, it is search your deck and discard pile for a Captain America's shield. Uh, upgrade and add it to your hand and shuffle your deck. And then Living Legend, reduce the cost of the first ally played each round by one. So, when I'm on that side only, on this side, I get to discard a card to ready myself. But getting plus one attack and thwart for my allies on turn one, pretty, pretty sweet. Uh, oh, oh, I grabbed the wrong Hawkeye. Ah, it grabbed the wrong Hawkeye. Huh. So, that's okay. That's interesting because there's two cards with the same name. Clearly, I was trying to go thematic here. So, that is not the Hawkeye I was looking for. Oh, where is Hawkeye? Oh, here he is. Control C, Control V. Easy enough to not have that Hawkeye anymore. And we will delete. I love you, Kate Bishop, but you are not the thematic character I was looking to add to my deck. All right, so let's ready everything up. And are you good? So we added two threat. He is going to attack you. You okay taking this attack? Because you're going to flip down a lot, right? Sure. All right. So you're going to take this. It's one plus another two for a total of three. And I am going to take mine. Not going to defend. So one plus discard an ally or upgrade you control. Well, that was a thing. Okay, then. I don't love that. Are, are you, wait, you weren't, def you're not I did not that? defend it, but even know. if I did, I mean, I only took one damage, but even if I did, that boost is badonka donk. All right, go ahead and draw your card. All right, go ahead and flip it. Wait, does this go first? I think, because I think it's not on top of your deck. I think you actually add, because the first thing you do, we all draw encounter cards. Then we all play encounter cards from top to bottom. I think you would have you would have drawn this earlier, and then you would have drawn this. Is it top to bottom or is it left to right? Well, I don't think it's top to bottom. When I'm playing in real life, I draw a card and I just make one pile and I just add cards to the top of it, right? I guess I don't make a pile. I stack them. Ah, up so that's different. But I, I mean, I think if you and I do it, I do it in I I do it like a I guess, first in uh... first out. Yeah, first and first out versus a stack. See, I build a stack. So for me, it's whatever's the last one in. I, I don't know. I mean, if anybody has opinions on that, let us know. Uh, we got some chat in here. Victor says, yeah, Heroes release. Oh, uh, we already read that one. Wasteland says, it really is. I introduced my friend to the game just a couple days ago using it. Oh, are you guys talking about the mod, how good it is? Um, Dragon cards, probably. The which one? Was she responding to me? Oh, are you talking about... Oh, you guys were talking about... Uh... Yeah, she thanked us for introducing her dragon cards. Yes. Well, on the... Whatever, it doesn't actually matter for mine. Uh, villain schemes. Uh, and he schemes for... Two, and no boost. Okay. So it's two more. So uh, Michael says, there's no rule I'm aware of for encounter card order. Brant says stack. So Brant agrees with me. And Michael says there is no order. Oh, yay. I get quick striked to my face. After Super Giant attacks and damages the character, the character is stunned. Oh, no. Never mind. I mean, I'm blocking that. Block, right? Yep. Uh, yeah, because I can ready myself. And that way I just avoid the two damage. This one, Surge, exhaust your identity card. Ha ha. Ha ha. I'm glad I did it in that order, by the way. Oh, I think he's got to be in this spot. Boink. Uh, but it does surge. Surge, reveal the top card of the encounter deck. Well, there's that. So I surge first, and then I would reveal the top card, which is now going to be on top. So I think that still works. 
Uh, give it to the James Road player. Oh, thank goodness. Exhaust yourself to remove it from the game. You doing that? Yeah. So you're flipping down? Wait, remove all counters from your dandy. Might as well. I mean, you're going to get those five back in two seconds. You may as well not. Oh, so this is removed from the game. Boom, boom, boom. Uh, Wasteland says, I like to do the, them in the order I've drawn them. It makes more sense to me. So so we've got <laughs> conflicting... That I mean, that's how it works in Lord of the Rings. So I mean, we can look it order. up in the rule book before, the, before we are done. May, or maybe that'll be our post-stream discussion. Does any of this really matter? Yeah. <laughs> the hood attacks you. Resolve the hood's foul play ability. I mean, to some degree, it like does matter if you know the cards. I guess it doesn't matter if they're in theory random because they could have shown up in any. I mean, order, they should right? always be random, right? So first, he's gonna. Well, no, because in that in this particular instance, you know one of the cards. Well, sure. This After player. this activation ends, resolve the hood's foul play ability. So he attacks me for two. Yes. And then I have to resolve foul you're just, play. You're just collecting more cards? Is yeah, that... and I got... So this is a hood card. So this is my first foul play. Children of Thanos. So there you go. There's that. And now I got to do foul play again. Yeah, and this is Black Order. Wait, so it's again? always the first one you draw that you're supposed to put on there. Uh, so, we're... Wait, why did you foul play like two times? Uh, because... The boost card, for no apparent reason, said do the hood's foul play ability. And this one says the hood uh -oh, attacks you and foul nice, play. Nice. Yeah. No, no. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm 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 all about foul play. I mean this this is uh he doesn't play fair. Let's be I honest. mean, there's there's lots of foul play going on. I, I I can guarantee that. While Black Order minions in play, threat cannot be removed from here. Oh. Well they're super giant. And yeah. There's that one. Are you kidding me? So we got to do 11 damage before we can remove threat from this garbage. Oh, hey. Huh. There's the thing. Uh, when defeated, deal the player who defeated this scheme a face down encounter card. Why not? <laughs> Why wouldn't we? Oh, gosh. For no reason. Uh, I think it's not a stack because it says Q. It says it gets added to a Q. And Q's are first in, first out. Yeah, I mean, I guess. So you looked at the rule book? Yes. As this card is not revealed at this time, this card is added to the queue of cards and players resolve them during the film phase. All right. So you make a line. I don't make a line. I do them in, yeah. in stack. But I... Well, that's because that's how TTS No, stop. Man. I did it in a stack before I played on TTS. So. you just been wrong your entire time playing. So Victor wow. also agreed with Mary that he likes to do it in Q order. Well, fooey on you guys. I mean, I, it's, how, it's how it's been done for like 10 plus years in Lord of the Rings. So I feel like they, they wouldn't just change it. I mean, I could shield toss. To get rid of all the minions, I guess only there's still a ton of help. I mean, right? I do, I Five do and two and two, or I could. Yeah, and I'll have uh, I'll have missile launcher at least as well. I mean, what do you what do you think? Should I shield toss them or should I put out my allies? Because that's kind of the debate I'm at right now. Well, the allies what hit for two? Anyone you put out. I mean, I could have Stinger attack for five and just kill Supergiant with Last Stand. <laughs> it's not bad, what? Right? It's not terrible. I mean, it's not. <laughs> I mean, she'll... And, you, and then you you basically can do that. Play my shield and ready. Yeah. I mean, that, that seems like the play, right? So. Yeah. Play Stinger. You can't. You don't. You can't ready. You don't have enough for ready. Oh, you're, you right, you're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. But I still think that's the right move because I, I want to get my shield in. Get my shield in play, which gives me plus one defense and retaliate. And then Stinger is going to last stand. So Stinger attacks for one two, and then with last stand, that's three more for a total of five. Goodbye, giant. 
Bye bye, giant. Goodbye. It's your. T I mean, is that the right call, or do we get rid of Maw because Maw is villainous, which is pretty. Giant sucks because she stuns. Yeah, I mean, not gonna lie, I'm not sad to get rid of the one in front of me right now. All right, Terrence, I have done what I can do. Do I call for aid? Is that the right call here? I mean, do you have Iron Man? Oh, that's the only Avenger in your deck, so that would yes. get you Iron Man. Yes. Right? I mean... Yeah. Watch, it's like the bottom of my deck. So Wasteland says, I'm beginning to think that this encounter combo is Caleb punching you guys in the face uh, vicariously through the game. Yeah, I mean, there is that. Uh, yeah. And Michael says... I mean, in computer science, you can remove from front or end of a queue. Ah, so he's saying <laughs> maybe you're wrong because a queue doesn't necessarily mean front to back. By the way, you just decked yourself trying to find Iron Man, which you finally did. That, uh, that was uh, that was the thing I was saying. <laughs> is it going to be? I mean, but, but he is what your whole deck is built around, right? So you, you have to do it, even if you yeah. deck yourself. Uh, Brent says, I put the encounter cards on a lazy Susan and then give it a spin. <laughs> nice. Nice, Brent. Uh, and Michael says, uh, I like that method, Brent. <laughs> yes. Sweet. I mean, you got to put... So you think I just do... You, you put have munitions to put that in. And play Iron Man, yeah, you right? have to put munitions bunker in. It is one of the, like, premier cards for your deck. Oh, don't forget you have Queen Carrier, by the way. Yeah. I think for me that probably means I just will play assess the situation. Wait, what is the What did you remember to get plus one hand size after the first round? By the way? For... Okay. I did. Where is Missile Launcher? Shoulder cannon, this is the one. Oh, are you getting that with Iron Man? Yeah. Yeah. See, you should probably start putting your deck back down here. Sorry, I had to do it. That's okay. I I I will, I will learn. I tried to learn, and I have learned. I've literally put it nowhere but up here this whole time. But I've I, I got to go back. All right. Uh, and then I'll assess for plus one hand size. Uh, let's see. Attack for two. Search your deck and discard pile for a Attack tech for upgrade. Two. Wait, how did you afford that? Okay. I was about to say, where did uh, that come from? Well, hold on. No, no, before you flip, you got to do this, dude. Yeah. Wait. So munitions, yeah, you put a two counter on it. And then next turn, you can add it here. Or you could just save it up for the whole game. And then just have a ridiculous last turn. So I just do two and two, right? Put down a four. Oh, and you're not attacking yourself? What happened to you? Oh, you got exhausted. Uh, I got all three good. Which is a shame. So actually, Maw hits just as hard as... Um, there's no reason to yeah. block Maw, though. I think we should block Hood because um, everything we do attacks for two. So it feels like a waste to use my retaliate on Maw, right? So yeah. I'll block for you on Hood, and I'll just take Hood's attack myself. All right, so you all done? Uh, I mean, I could take it and then go down or something and then heal. What is my heal? Three? Oh, that's pretty terrible. Yeah, no, no, no. I'll, I'll, I'll block for you. I mean, my... But isn't yours also garbage? Yeah, yours is also... Well, garbage. but I have a, I have a card that... Um, Let's me draw a card and heal one. I, I do have crew quarters. I, and I have crew here, quarters so. also. So I, I'm not All going right. down anytime soon. Let's put it that way. I, I, that is the goal anyway. I mean, everybody's got a plan. I can, all, I can also chump with uh, Iron Ooh. Man. Oh, and I got uh, three first aids in my deck as well. Um, but I did just get Steve's apartment, which is the draw a card and heal a damage. So I would love to go down. Um, but the problem is... 
that we can't really do. We need more thwarting right now, and I had no allies. Oh wait, wait, was this out here? Yeah. No. Oh, you killed your dude. First. I killed my dude. Yeah, yeah okay. we haven't we haven't taken any threat off of here yet. Because we can't. Correct. He's in play. Have any mock. You are correct, sir. Um, yeah, no, no, this is, this is terrible. All kinds of, I mean, my hand is not terrible. I got mansion. I got Steve's apartment. Oh, you, you have shield block though. So you could block. The problem is if I do twice. shield block, then I can't get mansion and Steve's apartment out, which is not a problem, but we'll see. We'll see how I'm going to do this. First things first, I'm just going to take an attack from hood and it's going to determine a lot. Well, hold on. First things first, we add two to the scheme. Second thing, second, I'm going to get attacked, and I'm just going to take it, and we'll see what happens. Yeah, that's only one damage. I don't think I'm going to shield block. Third, oh, and he takes a retaliate. Third thing's third, I am going to block for you. So he attacks for yeah. one. Oh, just one again, and he takes my retaliate again. And then you're going to have to deal with this. Watch, this is going to be like a super whammo. I attack. mean, oh, only two. Two. All right, so I, we might need Iron Man's thwarting instead of attacking this turn, and then you might just... I mean, I have... I have. Yeah, you have plenty of ways to do damage. All right, so okay. we do draw have to draw card. cards, though. Starting with Zero me, three. I draw two. See, I'm not sure about this order, too, because is it we both take one, and then I take the extra one from here? Yeah, uh, again. Yes. Yeah, so... Uh, I believe that's correct. Every player takes a card and then. By the way, pressure. you want more stuff? We got more stuff for you. Uh, so, this is up to six. What does this thing do? Uh, when each villain it's, phase begins, the hood must resolve the hood's foul playability. Wow. So this is like worse than this. In fact. Mm. Yeah, because that's two cards. One for each of us. Each player. Yeah, each yeah, player. Yeah, that's yeah. one for each of us. Oh, and by the way. If you're ever planning on removing threat from the main scheme, uh, just don't. I mean, yeah. wow. And both of these give you an encounter card when you draw them. Why did you... Terrence, I feel like you do this to us every time. You, like, totally try to come up with the worst possible scenario and uh, and, and kill us with it. And it, it, it works. It works. It does. I, 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 I hate you every week when you do this. All right. Go ahead. When revealed, each minion engaged with a player activates against that player. Each player who is not engaged with a minion uh, searches the encounter deck minion? and discard pile for a black order minion and puts it into play engaged with them. Shuffle the encounter deck. So first things first, this attacks you. Mm -hmm. For two. There we go. Three, three health. The okay, three so the question is, do I take uh, this thing? Which only has five health. Super giant? Or is there something better? I don't know that there's something better. Oh, quick strike does happen though, because he's engaged with me, right? Yeah. So yeah. No no, stuck. I'm not doing that. Uh so. Uh, you could shield block. I mean I don't want to. Oh. Oh no. Of course. Why would something simple? I could take Corvus. Corvus has four health. I'll deal with Corvus. He does have oh, so. God. You're right. <sighs> what are the other options? There's nothing more in there. We have to search here. Is it, is, is it have to be Black Order? It does, it does have right? to be Black Order. Yeah, you could take Black Dwarf. What? Is it Discard? Counter deck or Discard. The other option is Black Dwarf. Uh, Proxima has five with piercing, which nobody cares about. Actually, she's probably the best. Yeah. 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 Well, but Corvus best. is still in here, by the way. That doesn't mean we're not getting Corvus. It just means uh, we're not doing him right now. I mean, but three <laughs> attack and piercing is no fun either. Yeah, I kind of wonder. Like, do you need to? Uh, do you need a ready <laughs> and and do real things? I mean, honestly, I need to flip down and use Steve's apartment is what I need to do. But Right, but before you do that, do you need to ready and do real things? Before I mean, I, I'm going to do Avengers Mansion and we'll see what happens. So, But you're going to be first. So, th th so, 
Oh, so you playing mansion first? I got to to see what I get because I'd love to play Steve's apartment, but like, I might just need to ready. Wait, why do you have a card in your hand? <laughs> what did you do, or what did I do? Well, I couldn't have done that. That that's all you. No, I didn't do it. Uh, okay, so I think the first thing I do is this: I kill off my dude, right? Yes. I mean, your dude is villainous, which is just terrible. Uh, so Victor says, oof. Brant says, yeah, the hood is just ridiculously random. Uh, it's a barrel of fun, but absolutely not strategic to build a deck against. I mean, honestly, I think the fact that Terrence like, totally put in Black Order and Children of Thanos for no reason at setup was probably not advantageous to us. All right. How about I help you? How about and... you? So we don't care about killing Proxima first, right? Because you're flipping down? I don't. I mean, if I'm flipping down, that's fine. Yes. All right. So how about I play Maria Hill? Okay. I like that. I like that a lot. Agent 13, who I'm never playing, even though I probably should, because she's not thematically um, Civil War. So I'm not doing it. I like that we're yelling at each other because it's very Civil War-ish. Like, we both want the same goals, but we're not, like, not willing to... We're not, we're not looking at it the same way. Gauntlet gun? I think Am I flipping down, here. though? You have three health, Terrence. I have, I have two... I, have I guess that's true. And then I'm going to target and strike. You remove three out of something. I feel like this is the worst. I do unbridled ambition, and then you can help, or what is I mean, the... I can only do two is the problem. All right. I'll do... I yeah, mean, I'll unless I roll. legitimately play Agent 13, which I don't want to. But, I mean, if I got to, I got to. Uh, Marina Hill will port for two, and I'll port for one. Uh, this, this is just what's coming down to. I, I'm porting. All right, so you're getting rid of this? Yeah. I mean, I mean if you it, take right? two off of this, I can take the other two off. Oh, we can't. Stupid can't. Black Order Elite. Uh, I feel like we can't leave all these tributes out, though, either. I mean, does it matter? Iron Man thwarts for two somewhere. Probably one of the tributes, okay. right? I mean, that's the only thing you can thwart, huh? Let's be honest. I guess I should do it this way, so it's prettier. All right, so you want me to ready and thwart for the other two on this? Uh, you're going to take a face down. I mean, that's forward. what I'm saying. Does it? That's why I'm asking if it matters if we get rid of these right now. I, I don't know that the answer is yes to that. I mean, it could heal also. That's your call. You know what? I'm going to I'm going to do a thing. I may end up playing Agent 13 even though my goal was not to do that to stay thematic. I might that, that might be out the window at this point. Uh yeah, I feel like I feel like with the the something reduction it's potentially worth it, right? So I'm going to do either this turn I'm or next turn. I'm doing four to put out mansion and I'm going to draw a card. Agent 13 enters play, remove two threat from a scheme. Yeah, I mean, I can't put her out she this turn. What? Yeah. It's what you're saying is I should hold her in my hand and 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 do do that. Yeah, because you you'll be if you're flipped down, you get the discount. Well, this turn, right? I'm flipped so. down. I'm gonna pay first aid for Steve's you, apartment. You also you also don't get the discount this turn because I played Maria Hill. Oh, did you get the? Uh, oh, is that true? Yes. Ah. So I'm gonna heal a damage and draw a card. Um, I feel like that's a good card, but not for next turn. <laughs> I mean, unless you want me to play it on you, but you're not going to have all those allies next turn, so no. All right, so that's the end of our turn. Yep. By the way, I, I kill Mighty Avengers by doing that, by playing Agent 13. But that's fine. Uh, I mean, you'll see who you draw, right? All right, we all done?
Let us draw up. Oh, I got two Avengers Assemble as well, which there are only two in my deck. All right, so I am readying. I mean, you got all the cards. Ironheart, Fury. All all yeah, but I'm probably going to play Rapid Response if I can and Shoulder Cannon. And then basically, yeah, Chomp with Maria. And then that means when Chomp with Iron Man, he comes back into play and I get another upgrade. Gotcha. All right, so we're up to seven. Hood's going to knock it over. I almost guarantee it. But for you first, you get attacked but for one. Maria Hill blocks. Chomp. Uh, discard an ally or support you control. So I guess that means Iron Man is gone as well. Oh, or support. Or support. Yeah, do I get rid of the munitions blocker instead? I can barely hear you. I don't know what happened there. <laughs> munitions bunker or Iron Man? I guess Iron Man. But isn't your whole deck built around him? Yeah, but I can make the call. Call him back. Nice. And Maria's dead as well. For that one damage she blocked. Yeah, though the word the one th the thing I'm more worried about losing Iron Man is dying because of it. Right, because you have nothing to block for you right now. All right. So yeah. first things first, Hood schemes for two plus two more. That definitely puts it over at eleven. All right. So we lose this first one. Uh, choose one encounter set. All right, so we just draw a random one. Let's see. The Doomsday Chair module set. I feel like that's not an easy one either, Terrence. I feel like that that's a no bueno one. I, I, I didn't pick that. That one was random. That one was definitely random. And then we flip it over. One revealed, uh, by the way, this goes to two per player, which is four. Uh, each player must resolve the hood's foul play ability in player order. For each player who was not dealt at least one face down encounter card, place two more threat. Oh, joy. By the way, um, I guess we do that first, but just so I don't forget, I'm going to have uh, Proxima for, uh, scheme for one as well. All right, so first is you. Draw two cards. First one to not be a hood card goes in front of you. Standard card, yep. So this one goes away, and then I resolve. Oh, yeah. Awesome. Uh, let's see. Brent says, yeah, uh, or let's see. Victor says, hey, Agent 13 helped capside during Civil War movie. She fits. Wait, is Agent 13 Agent Carter? Oh, it is Sharon Carter. Oh, okay. So I can play her. I, I fully allow myself to play her now. I did not realize that was Sharon Carter. But, um, yes. Good call, Victor. Uh, Wasteland says, oh, Brant. Says, oh, Brant, I wanted to tell you that I really enjoyed your interview with Caleb and Boggs. Yes, if you all haven't checked that out, check out Brant on Step Into the Portal. They have a podcast. Uh, they interviewed Caleb and Boggs, the two designers. It was a awesome interview. All right, Terrence, where are we at? We have to draw more encounter cards? Uh-huh. Uh, so you draw two, I draw one? Yep. How you feeling? Oh, we're, we're going to do it in this order thing? All right. Oh, see, I already messed up. I should have drawn mine before you got your second one. But that's all right. Uh, I mean, I'm not feeling good. I, I have to block this. I have to block this. Yeah. So you take one damage. That would have killed you. Oh. Cool. Tally two? <laughs> what? What? Oh, uh, and guard. Why not? Oh my god. When revealed, resolve the hood's foul play ability. When defeated, defeating player must resolve the hood's foul play ability. Oh, Terrence, what have we done? Wait, Doomsday Chair starts with wow. eight? Yeah. And wait. Has other abilities as well? Why not? Uh, when revealed, if Modok is... It, it just puts Modok in play. Oh, good, good news for us. He's already in play. What in the ever-living... What is going on here? That... Oh, yeah. Black Dwarf overkill. <laughs> why, why not? Why not? Established dominance. Attached to your identity 
after the hood activates foul play against you or wait activates against you. oh wait do we forget oh no we got rid of that card thank goodness um after hood activates against you resolve his foul play ability alter ego exhaust your identity and place two threat on the main scheme to discard this card i kind of feel like i'm doing that what do you think yeah uh all right are, are you taking the first player token i mean first? i'm first player so i'm gonna exhaust i'm gonna add two to the main scheme because this is bull badonka donk i don't feel like a player right now I mean, you're about to flip down, right? So yours will add threat. Mine will just kill me for 27 million damage. <sighs> All right, I'm going to do my apartment first. Because I might give you my mansion draw. Because you're... Uh, are you playing Agent 13? Oh, I'm definitely playing here? Agent 13. <laughs> no question. Uh, I mean, we got to get rid of some of this, right? Although, I don't know. This is just freaking terrible too like getting rid of this isn't the best thing in the world although it just gives me somebody to chump and attack with at least if nothing else oh my gosh this is awful all right so what'd you draw what what's your plan here? i don't have a plan terrence you 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 give me way too much credit sir uh i'm gonna remove two threat from a scheme i'm gonna do it from this one to start or should i start working on this garbage I can't I do the Black I mean, Order one because there's, I don't know, three or only two. 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 There's only two. <sighs> so what do you think? Start working on Tribute and just get two extra cards this turn or start working on Doomsday Chair? I mean, there's no good answer. Let's be honest. Yeah, I, th I think the answer is there is not All one. Right. But on the plus side, Cap does thwart <laughs> for three. So you got that with fearless determination but it may not be the, the right thing to do wait from what oh oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah great you you can cycle at least to cycle a different card so you got that i mean i can three, avengers yeah. assemble here which might be the right call is that ready each avenger character? yeah ready everybody so and just... plus one attack so no well i mean oh, she's not oh no <laughs> never mind not great. Uh, I, I, I mean, I, I definitely would cycle fearless termination. See what you get. Sure. Right. You flip. You flip up. Flip and up. You see what so you I get. give myself plus one thwarting. I'll just keep this here. Oh, actually, there's a counter for that in this. So if you look at this little bag up here, you do 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 do, do search this bag. There is a thwarting counter, which is very big. Well, um, I can just leave it here. So that reminds me, I have plus one thwart. But it is a counter that you could like hit three to know that I have three thwart, whatever else. So that's pretty cool. Got that going for me. But I'm just going to leave it at... Yeah. I know Colin's a big fan of those tokens um, in real life. Yeah. No, I mean, it's definitely not bad. All right. So I do get to draw a card. Ooh. That changes stuff, right? Oh, God. Do I just shield toss that changes, for a bazillion? That changes... That changes everything. I mean, I feel it? like I use Mansion myself now, right? Yeah, take it. Take it, man. Um, Yeah. Oh, Heroic Strike, too, but I can't. I can't. No, no, no. You get one. You get to do one <laughs> All right, thing. So I shield toss. Do I keep shield block? The question is, do I just do four and hit the minions? Yeah, I don't need to hit him, right? But you, you, you need, you need, you can't play shield block. You need something to pave to put the shield back in play. So it doesn't matter what it is. Oh, you think I should put it back in play? Well, you can't shield block without the shield. Touche. All right. So one, two, three, and four to throw my shield doing... Are you okay resolving foul play? I, I mean, I have to. to Look, right. we, we, this is not this is not optional. This is like... Is, she, is, is shield taught? It is an attack. So you, so you do take the retail too. Listen... I think you're. Okay I mean, with that. we got it. A man's got to do what a man's got to do. Um. All right. So I just did four damage to everybody. I do take two retaliate myself. My shield comes to my hand, but then I'm gonna play shield block to play it in front of me. <sighs> Unfortunately, I can't ready and do anything. So that thwart is not bueno. But should I do my one attack to just kill Proxima? 
What's the... I mean, the problem is if I get rid of either of these, it doesn't help us literally at all, and I just get an encounter card for no reason. So I feel like I just kill Proxima with Agent 13. I mean, I'll be able to kill her with Shoulder Cannon. Oh, that's true. So do you want me to thwart... T I could thwart two on Doomsday. Well, actually, never, never mind, never mind. I, I think I, I think the play is to play Fury. And hold on to Shoulder Cannon, right? I mean... Play Fury, have him drop the four damage on Modok, and don't take the cards. Okay. All right. So I'm an Agent 13. Wait, right? I, I mean, it's sound. Look, at this point, we're, we're grasping for straws here. Because at, at that point, my Missile Launcher will take out Black Dwarf, right? Two damage. And Fury will drop Modok. Yeah. I mean, look, as I said earlier... I'm okay with anything right now. I feel like we're in the worst situation ever. What? This is the card we need to get rid of if we could, but it's just not going to happen. I just, I just can't. I just can't. Wait. Whoa, whoa. You could shoulder cannon right now. Yeah, I can Hold shoulder on. cannon right is now. Hold on. Is there a way you can do one right now? Do you have that other thing in your hand or, or in, your, in play or no? No. All right. So you could kill Dwarf right now. By the way, did you do this last turn? When you were face down, did you put two more counters on it? No, I mean, I haven't. I didn't flip down last no, turn. No, remember, you were face down at the beginning of your turn. You didn't pull from it, right? No, no, no. It's only a, I've only I played it, and I've been face down one no, time. No, no, you got face down because you're... Uh, alter that was the turn I played it. I put it oh, was play. it? Oh, okay. Yeah, it only has two. So Ryan stopped by. He uh, said can't stay, but he wanted to stop in and say hi. Hello, Ryan. All right, so you killed that. All right, so there's still nothing I can do. I still got a, unfortunately, Agent 13 Proxima, right? Yeah, I mean, the only alternative is I can Nick Fury and not kill Modoc. Well, the problem is that you can't... I, then I can't use Agent 13 anyway. It's too late, right? The timing window's over. Yeah. 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 So, yep. Over. I'm just going to have to kill with Agent 13. She'll have to do that. I mean, look. I mean, the alternative is I can I can play Fury, have him remove two threat instead and just clear it. But I mean, I feel like you've got to do... Retaliate 2 just seems basically terrible. Well, hold on. Can you do 2 with anything or no? Because you could do two with Fury, oh, right? So you could draw three cards, put your shoulder cannon in, do two with Fury. The problem is I don't know that you're going to be able to do the other two damage. It depends what your draw is with Fury. That's the problem. Because... Yeah, I mean, there's, there's oh, nothing... Oh, Fury has only got three life. Attack. Never mind. I thought Fury had yeah, four exactly. for some reason. No, like, the problem is anything I do would kill me because I have two Right. Life. And yeah, no, I Fury's got to drop attack. the four damage. You're right. All right, well, it's your turn, so go ahead. Can you use this? I don't know, if only for War Machine events. Yeah, and it's just like, whatever, I'm flipping down, so it's fine. All right, Fury's dropping the four, and then I guess I fork the two off of that scheme, right? Off of which one? And then the big one? Off of oh, Black yeah, yeah, Order, Black right? Order. Yeah, good call. Ah, we're too short. Now, hold on. Are you flipping down? Uh, do you not want me to? I mean, you got Fury to chump for you. And I've got an extra chumper just in case. Okay, I can stay up. Because I just think that this is a problem, right? I don't know. I mean, you're going to have to flip down at some point. So go ahead, put... A bunch on your munitions thing. Flip down. You're fine. Yeah, it just sucks I am already exhausted from the first Well, use time, your munitions but... bunker. Get that sucker up to four at least. That's something. Alright, so we're done? Yep. I feel like I've drawn this on my turn too. It has not been... It has not been the turn. Has not been the right call to play. Oh no no yeah no no. This has been, this has been fighting for our lives since turn one. Oh by the way, I have first aid too. Oh and I have my helmet. 
Oh, and I have Ant Man. Oh, I remember. I feel like you've had First Aid a handful of times. Well, I have, no I have three have... of them. Yeah. But I mean, I've never been. Look, they're they're late game plays, right? They're not first turn plays. Uh, I don't know. I feel like they they can be mid term plays depending. Well, on right how now I might are. use it to keep um, Agent Thirteen in play. The only problem is Agent Thirteen hurt. I mean, you you have inspiring presence, so I feel like that's the better call there. Uh, but she's not an Avenger. She's Shield. No, it's only if your identity is an Avenger. Oh. Here's the problem. My Mighty Avengers does not work while she's still in play. That's true. You could just kill her off. Well, that's what I'm thinking. I kill her off. I Ant-Man it up. Um, so we'll see. We'll see. All right. So you you decided to stay up or no? No, you went down. So you're chumping for me then, yeah. obviously. Yes, 100%. All right. So one, Unless you two, don't want three. It. Oh, no. I definitely want it. Uh, so first things first, he attacks me. Go ahead and block with fury. So nothing. Oh, encounter deck's done. So yay for acceleration tokens. I actually like the fact by the end of tonight. that the encounter deck doesn't auto shuffle. Now maybe it does as you draw cards, <coughs> but the negative for the other mod is I never knew, and we I always miss that trigger because it auto shuffle. All right, uh, so right. he's attacking, or no, he's scheming, scheming against you for two. Po oh, jeez. Oh. Five. Okay. Well, we're living on the edge. <laughs> uh, I mean, I feel like it's gone in a half a second. All right. Uh, so drawing counter cards. I mean, it's only one. Oh no, it's two for me. By the way. All right, I'll do them in Terrence order. Maybe things will work out better. By the way, you know what we haven't seen. You want me to say it? Don't, don't Do you want say me to it. say it? No, we're ready. Does everybody have their drinks? Have scheme, man. Oh. Uh, remember when Modoc died? Wait, there's two of these cards? There's two of these cards? How are there two of these cards? What? How? What? How? What? This is why the Modoc Modular is basically trash. I never play it. Well, guess what? We randomly got it in addition to the ridiculously hard. <sighs> there we go. All right. So, hood schemes. Yep. All right. So, we've lost. I mean, there's zero chance we win this, right? All right. Come on. Easiest modular ever. Bomb scare. Bomb scare. Brothers Grim. Brothers Grim. That Grimm. doesn't sound good. <laughs> It's a hood modular. It doesn't sound good at all. Uh, and place an acceleration token place on the main this. scheme, by the way. Just in case you didn't see enough garbage. So this goes to six, which isn't even that low. After resolving step one of the villain phase, each player must resolve the... F uh, no, 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 not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. This is each turn. What do you mean? No, no. Each player must resolve. It's like no, no. You gotta finish re reading the one revealed. Oh my gosh! So we gotta do it now, and then every turn we gotta do it. Yeah. Here you go. Seriously, like, come on. Okay. Cool. Schemes again. Oh no, this card surges. Whoa! Hold on. Oh, no, no, it doesn't surge. Stop. You get that in front of you, or I get that in front of me, or whatever. Oh. Yeah, you get that in front of you. That's me. All right. So you like to do this one first. Oh, <laughs> surge. There you go. And reveal the top card of the encounter deck. So in theory, you surge that, and then you do reveal this one. No, you reveal this first, if I, if I understand that correctly. There you go. I mean, I say once this board is filled, we uh, we can't get any more side schemes. Uh, he schemes now, and I have to resolve foul play. Wait, we have to resolve foul play again? So he schemes for four? Yeah. Wait, what is this doing here? All right. And then Why play. is it that every time we play Hood, 
just bad crap happens. Oh. oh there we go. Cool. All right, last card, hopefully. By the way, you get quick struck. Oh, no, you don't. Oh, switch. We're halfway through this deck. Oh, cool. Well, yeah, I want to kill. I mean, yeah, I, <laughs> I, I have uh, first aid. <laughs> cool. Cool, 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 cool. Can I give you my helmet? Uh, no. <laughs> You cannot I want to give you my helmet. I feel like that's the play. By the way, oh, I was about to say you get a discount to your first ally played, but no, you don't. I don't. What the? What is going on here? All right, Terrence, do you have a plan? Like any plan at all, possibly? Uh, I mean, what can we do? Is the play to uh, just reset and start over? And I play with a deck that's not stupid. Do you not like your cap deck? I felt like your cap deck was okay. I felt like it was fine, but if we're playing against this, I'm bringing out I'm bringing out some big guns. If we're playing this, what are you bringing? You keep your deck. I will bring out some big guns. <laughs> Do you think my deck was particularly good? I think your deck was fine. Are you going to bring out a different deck? It's fine. Uh, All right. I feel like we're starting over. Boom. It, it's done. Yeah. What do you bring? I don't know yet. The number of side schemes there was insane, actually. Are you sticking with your deck? I don't have to. Do you want to play uh, your deck? I'm happy to play it. Uh, let me know what you're bringing. Well, I, I don't know. It depends on what you're doing. So what is Cap want to do in that situation? Are, are we doing Black Order and Children of Thanos again? Is that is that is that a thing? I guess so. Sure. Black Order and... I mean, this seems so dumb. <laughs> so dumb. Like, <laughs> all right, so we're going to add... Do you want to use the regular standard and expert cards, or do you want to stick with the thematic-looking one? Uh, you matter. know what? Let's, let's, let's change it up. I mostly dislike it for Hood because of his foul ability, his foul play, uh, just because it's just harder for me to tell what's his. That's true. Uh, All right. But that's that's also just because I'm not. I mean, we could play uh, expert two or whatever. Does that make it? No, <laughs> of course it doesn't. Uh, I still need more action advantage. All right. What's the peanut gallery saying to us? Uh, gluttons for punishment is all they're saying. All right. Wow. I'm looking through my decks. Do you want more thwarting for me? So let's see what's at the top uh, of my stuff. My I most can... recently built stuff is Black Panther Protection, Spider Woman, Ally Attack, and Thwart. Uh, that's that's pretty fun deck. Valkyrie, no. Strange 2.0. I don't even know what that means. <laughs> what is Strange 2.0? I don't know. I haven't even... Oh, But it's you said it's recent, Oh, it's, right? it's, so it's a strange be... leadership deck. <laughs> with nine allies, strength in numbers, summoning spell, power of leadership, <laughs> Triskelion. Uh, yeah. Triskelion, wow. I've not seen that. Well, like only ever. because I have so many ways to get allies with this deck is like basically bring in allies and give them plus to everything. So what's the benefit of doing that in Strange versus like Scarlet Witch? Um, I don't know that there is one in Strange over Witch. I, I just because you you, you get a uh, at least for her you get the uh, you get something spell as well, but then you also get a uh, what is her like Chaos Magic that allows you to 
play a thing for free at the cost of yeah no i don't think it's better uh in her than and then in scarlet do you want me to play my spider woman my spider woman's pretty good i could do captain What's marvel do? uh i mean it it builds out um i mean you know what it builds out it builds out uh uh bug and uh whatchamacallit yeah oh, that yeah. one it builds out bug and it builds out uh yandu in stupid ways <laughs> I don't... should i bring my scarlet witch leadership deck go for it i have uh victor ones. says i think some thorning would be good those side schemes got nuts but we might not have any side schemes all right you want me to play venom aggression or protection if you're gonna bring a thwarting deck that's another option i'm gonna bring venom i want to play venom i'm gonna bring okay. venom aggression i don't even know what it does but okay. i'm bringing it boom done i feel like that's no, you're gonna thwart. It's, it's you're bringing. Just... I thought you were bringing your Scarlet Witch. Don't you have some thwarting? Leadership deck. Yeah, I mean she thwarts for two, and then she. It's the same. Like you play. I mean, Mighty don't forget all the stats. that he can thwart for three pretty easily, plus two more. Like he can thwart too, right? Even in an aggression deck, <laughs> he can thwart. Yeah, the I guess I'm only leaning this way just because I feel like got to get online faster. Why do I only have 39 cards? Why am I missing a card? Uh, unknown. Uh, can we look here and see what it says? Cannot find Marvel Boy. Interesting. That's cool. Uh, what's Marvel Boy in? Uh, is he Leadership? in? He's in this. He's got, he's no, got to be aggression. Marvel boy is aggression. He's aggression. Marvel boy is aggression. Yes. Do 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 do. Allies. Wait. So what's? Wait. Is Marvel boy not this? in here? Oh, there he is. All right. Wait. It's back in what? there already. The spoiled card. Hey! 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 Don't be spoiling stuff. Boom. Gone. <laughs> you're, you're the one that pulled them all out. I was just surprised to see it. Oh, I'm putting my deck back down here. This is my lucky spot, as you saw last game. Uh, I have doubts it was lucky, but, you know, I guess you're you're in my definition of luck. Oh, so you get two obligation cards. That's got to be good for his modular. No. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> All right, I have no idea what's in my deck, but it's got to be good. There, you know, there's a price to cast. Remind me that I've got to keep... I can take damage to get a free resource, because I always forget that. All right, so I'm drawing up, drawing my six. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, I got both of my pistols turn one, by the way. Oh, and I got grasping tendrils, which is definitely a thing, right? I mean, I would have to hold it okay. would be the only negative. But I feel like that's not terrible to stun him turn one. I don't know. What do you think? It's not do bad. I, I hold it? Uh, I'm. A... You set up all the deck. God, I got all my running all guns, the by the way. Box. I got freaking three running guns turn one. Do you have to discard for weapons still? Uh, I am going to do that. Uh, you first player? I am first player. Okay. All right, I'm going to do your foul play for you. Energy spear is the weapon I got. Oh, no. Oh, that does count, doesn't it? Uh, here you go. Just by the way, your obligation is happening on turn one. Oh, awesome. What's my obligation? Uh, two attacks. I mean, it could be worse. It could have been Shadows of the Past, right? All right. I feel like this is drink... Your obligation isn't bad because it's the one that's like you get one... Yeah, I feel like something. I'm drinking right out of the bottle right here. Uh, I feel like they made Venom good and then uh, you, you look at his... You look at his, like, obligation and then you look at, like, uh, 
I feel like some of the other people who have much worse ones. Yeah. Well, I mean, the energy spear is just an extra energy spear, right? So maybe I put in hand cannon in only one of my pistols. Just because of the cost thing. Oh no, I get I a free I get on. a free resource. Never mind. It's not free, but Alright, so running gun for a pistol. Running gun for a pistol. And energy Wait, spear and I take a damage to put in a hand cannon. Boom boom boom. Wait, what? Gotcha. I mean, okay. that seems not like the worst thing you've ever seen, right? I mean, for turn one. Now, the question is, I'm not thwarting. You're thwarting, right? So I'm just punching him in the face for four. Yeah, I, I, and I don't use my hand cannon because we, we want that overkill. So I'm just going to punch him in the face for four. Now, the only negative is right. I did discard my holster Um, when looking for my hand cannon. It wasn't like I discarded it intentionally. Uh, or when I was looking for the energy spear, which means... I cannot put in my other weapon right now without discarding one. So that's the only negative negative. Victor says, it, uh, or Michael says, haha at wasteland or wait, 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 wait what did I miss? Uh, so wasteland says, wow, I step out for a few minutes and there's a whole new game. When I get back, Michael says, uh, yeah, me too. And then Victor says, it got comically out of control. I blame MODOK. Yeah, no, that MODOK modular was ridiculous. In addition to all the other crap we had to deal with. So, you're hex bolting? Okay. I did some spiritual meditation. I got spiritual meditation to meditation, but I didn't have any good target got for it. it. So I pitched it. Uh, hex bolt. Let's do it. Three cards. Two. 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 Draw a card. Draw a card. It was Agatha all along. Now cards. you can change that, right? Or no? Oh, you could discard it if you want it. Oh, you got meditation, which isn't great. Wait, why did you draw that? Uh, just. It's another two? Wow. So it basically paid for itself. I mean, it's cycling your deck, which isn't the worst thing in the world. Uh, just do it again? Yeah. Oh, no moss? Yeah, why not? It was Agatha all along. What's That's one? one. What's one? Or two threat from a scheme. I feel like I canceled that, right? Because I'm going to have to warn anyways. Or not cancel, but try to sure. redraw. So you're just going for damage here, basically. Well, there's zero. Two damage. I'll take that. Two damage. I don't have a choice. Three. I'll take it tough. It's not the worst thing in the world. You got one more, right? I take the tough because I know he's hitting me twice. Why is he hitting you twice? Oh, is that garbage? All right. Last card. Zero. Zero is two damage again. What's zero? Two damage? Sure. All right. What do I play now? Uh, probably crew quarters I mean, or Agatha. Both. You got nothing else to do. Or rapid response. I mean, for what? We have zero allies. I mean, it, they stay in play forever until you use Oh, them. is that how it works? I did not realize that. Yes. What's Agatha? I don't even know what she does. I don't know that I've ever played her. She's my alter ego that allows me to basically like, search top three cards in my deck. Oh, for, stuff. for anything. But if I'm taking damage, it's probably worth having yep. them out. I mean, if you're crew quarters, then you're going to Agatha as well. So may as well. I'm never planning on going down. Although, I don't know how that's possible. So, well, My rapid, I probably discard rapid. I think this early in the game, you discard it. I got grasping tendrils. Oh, by the way, you're not going to get attacked twice. You're only getting attacked once but because I'm grasping tendrils the first attack. Probably, right? Okay. Sure. Although boot, is it does grass utensils just stun him? Yeah, it also stuns. If him. I only play okay. fists, though, cool. that's the problem. So I got to use rocket and power of regression to make that happen. What's up? Uh, no, you can you can damage yourself. Oh, good call. Because it's once per phase. 
So oh, you can use rocket and that, and then you yep. still have power to put in to boot, put camp boot camp in. in. Sweet. Uh, although losing crew quarters kind of hurts, but whatever. I mean, look, <laughs> nope. Uh, did you want me to play crew quarters on you? No, because I'm not going down. Don't worry about it. It's fine. No, we. I mean, yeah. we wouldn't have known that was coming. All right, so I am going to. So what is it when the villain initiates an attack against you? Cancel the attack. All right, so I'm doing that. Oh wait, I got it ready. Wait. Uh, yeah, you uh, so I took draw, a damage right? Right, I need to draw. and I'm just ditching rocket to grasping tendrils cancels the attack I paid for it only using fist stun the villain so then he tries to attack against you and nothing he's done he's all right well that was <laughs> Michael says we don't talk about mode doc no no by the way did you see that movie Encanto Oh, yeah. It's, yes. It's All right, good. Well, I don't know, because you don't have kids, right? So, like, you never know. I mean, it's still like a quality Disney Oh, it movie, certainly you know? is. Yeah. It, it's it's rated E for everyone, Yes, right? yes. Look at you, Mr. Rated E for everybody. All right. So, I am done. You are done. So, I do have to draw a card. Oh, we'll do them in your order. Although, I feel like I'm not doing it every time, so it's kind of random. Exhaust Flash Thompson, take two damage and discard this obligation, or put a set aside copy of Enraged Symbiote into play, engage with the first player. If you cannot, this card gains Surge. I feel like I'm okay with that. In fact, I almost feel like it's better. You're just going to hand Well, yeah, because right? I feel like it's better to get them out one at a time rather than Shadows of the Past and get four all at once. You know what I mean? Oh, there so we go. The villain schemes for two plus. Reveal this card. This card. So three. three. And he's got a gun now. <sighs> That's, I, I mean, I can't this it. turn, but I will be able to eventually. I mean, I could this turn, or, but then I'm not getting boot camp. Nah. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, cool. So, attacks me. But you, you're just going to take it with the tough? Yeah. That's would have been five damage. That's a good so, I mean, that's decent use of tough. Uh, so keep drawing until we find one. This this card. Oh, that's not yep. bad. Oh, uh, that's not bad. I'm not just not gonna look at all this that's stuff. Uh here we go. There we go. Oh, that's not great. I mean, are any of them great? I mean I can th thwart for four, don't forget. So there is that. But it does mean you're gonna get hit in the face. I mean, I guess. No, you... it's fine. Like, if you need me to thwart for four, I will thwart for four. You're gonna be first player anyway, though, so we'll figure it out. I mean, pistols are freaking do ridiculous. Want... Do you want me to? So, for those that don't know, pistols they add plus one to any of your basic things. That's attack, block, or um, attack, defend, or thwart. So I can thwart. Oh, it's not four. It's only three. I can thwart four. My thwarting's only one normally. Uh, I was gonna put mansion. Put out mansion out, man. And hold my crest, and then give you draw. Um, I don't know that I need draw. Well, if I get draw, I could potentially get rid of this. And in fact, I could definitely get rid of this if I get a draw. So you're giving me the draw. Hey, it's Marvel Boy. No. Marvel Boy? I could care I care not for Marvel Boy. I mean getting rid of this is more important, right? I I mean you spent so much time on him. Well, and I I mean I like Marvel uh, Boy. Look, for two cost to do two attack and three with boot camp, it's pretty freaking great. But in this situation we want to get rid of this pistol, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh oh, Terrence does not have a health health counter. He is immortal. Here's your health counter, Terrence. <laughs> By the way, so that's another improvement that uh Hitch made when you spawn your character, he, their health counter spawns as well. Like I'm telling you, did a great job with this mod. I I, I was just going to use the damage nice. tokens. Nice. Nice. You're just not going to die. Uh I mean they 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 go up to like 9, yes. right? I mean for enough. you that is Ten true. <laughs> yes. Anything more than nine, you're in a little uh, trouble. You know it's bad when I'm drinking straight out of the bottle, by the way. Do you 
you want me to do main team or side? Uh, I mean, wait, how is it? It's down to four? If I have warp for two, it's down to four. I mean, we need three off of it to be useful to me. Otherwise, I may as well just so kill the symbiote. Just this? Well, but may as well start working on it, right? I mean, we're at half here as well, so that's the other Yeah, thing. do main. But... Well, main? no, because it's only going up two. Nobody's face down, right? Yeah, just, yeah, Not get do, do that. I mean, worst case scenario, I can thwart it next turn. All right, so are you good? Yep. I mean, I wish I did more, but Mansion just... Yeah, no, no. So, well, but I mean, I mean it, let, it let us get it. rid of his pistol, right? Because I took the damage, and I discarded Marvel Boy to get rid of that gun. So that's not the worst thing in the world. And then pay for boot camp, which does literally absolutely nothing for us right now. Wait, aren't, weren't you face down at the beginning of this turn? Or no? No. Okay. I had tough, remember? Oh, that's right. That's right. I should put boot camp up here just because I can. Just for no reason. <laughs> All right. Uh, and then I'm going to attack for 50 bajillion. Uh, so it's two, three, four, five, six with overkill. Because this gives me two and overkill. So I do six with overkill. That's four. I mean, that's two and four more. I mean, that's that's not bad. I love Venom, by the way. Venom is so fun to play. All right. So I'm going to draw five. By the way, I got combat training. Oh, I could search for a weapon upgrade. The only problem with that is I can't have another weapon right now. I mean, you would totally put multi gun out. Well, the problem is I should have used hand cannon in the first turn, right? That that was a mistake. I should have used it just so if slash when I get multi gun, I can just put it in, because multi gun's pretty freaking great. Although I don't mind. Man, the high enemy lines seems great. Uh, remove three threat from a scheme if you paid for this card only using. Well, yeah, there's no way I'm doing that, but yeah, no, it's three threat plus the three I can do myself, which is not as useful anymore, but. Uh, I mean, Gamora's not bad either. Wait. Oh, I am a guardian. That's right. Uh, after Gamora attacks or thwarts, discard cards from the top of your deck until you discard an event and add it to your hand. So, she lets me draw a card for two straight turns. I, I would definitely use uh, Lock and Loaded before you do Gamora. If yeah, you yeah. Did that, no. uh, I mean, combat training is right. pretty good too. Dylan? To attack for seven a turn? <laughs> it's pretty darn good. Like, normal attack for seven, by the way. Uh, yeah, so there's that. All right. So it is your turn. Uh, well, first things first, we had two to the main. Then he attacks you. Are you doing anything about that? No, no we got to do foul play Oh, first. every turn? Okay, so you are first player, so go ahead. Draw two. Well, there's one. Oh, and that's a terrible one, too. And me. Yep. Well, I mean, I know I'm defending now. Why? What's that? Exhaust me. Ah, yes. So good news. You're defending. Oh, good thing you defended, too. So take two. Still, even with your defense. Um, yeah, I'm just going to take this in my face. Oh, goodbye, Shadows! Yeah. It's much more satisfying when you recognize that. It, it is more satisfying, but I also find it fun to, like, not know. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, oh, no, that Shadows of the Past, no! Yes, but it is fun to... Look, I got our Shadows out of the way earlier today. Um, And we just... Okay, there's six cards Got left all kinds of other terrible luck. All right, draw your encounter card. I'll draw mine. All right, surge me. What just happened? Try changing your YouTube settings. What? What in the what just happened? Like, I'm not touching my phone. I'm not doing anything. All right. Oh, 
Awesome. Oh. Wow. So, wait, what happened? How did that card get discarded? Oh. Uh, exhaust, and then two assaults. So, wait, you get two back-to-back -back attacks? Well, I'll be three in total this game. Well, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Did you already resolve any of these? This Why do form. you know what the next one is then? Oh, it was a face so then why are you looking at it? You're cheating. Because I'm first player. I'm resolving it in order. I've resolved. Oh, you've already these. resolved the first assault. So now you're on this card. Yeah, yeah. I'm okay. on the last card. Hold on. Which is so this. should I defend for you? Uh, you know. I mean, I guess you could redraw. By the it's way, you haven't been redrawing on their turn, right? Because you had a three boost at one point. You could have redrawn. Yeah. Probably should have, but I guess I can redraw this if I take it. So the question is, do I defend? Because I can defend for four with my two pistols. But then I'm not doing anything else. Yeah, I feel like, no, I, I feel like we need you to do All right, more so stuff. So you're just taking this? All right. Two. That's, That's not... It's not the worst thing, although you're flipping down for sure again. <sighs> Why? Why? Why do you hate us, game? I feel like this is still the worst one. Oh, great. One revealed. Foul play. Oh, there's only one card, and it's a hood card. So nothing. Hey! I've never been so happy to get an acceleration token before. I don't know that I should be happy to get an acceleration token, but uh, yeah, there's that. When defeated, the defending well, the defeating player yeah. must do foul play. Oh, awesome, 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 awesome. All right, so I'm first player. I'm Good news. Good. I don't even know what to do because my stuff does three, which is like one away from being super useful. Are you gonna be able to do one? Are you gonna be able to do any thwarting? I thought you were a thwarting deck. You never really said that, by the way. No. Uh, I, yeah, you draw. Do I draw a card? card? I feel you like I need. Draw a card. You need to do something, dude. <laughs> Hello. Okay. Uh, so the question is: Do I kill this or do I thwart? Well, I can take three off of something, and Kalu can finish it, right? So I take three off of this one. Yes? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So there's that. Behind enemy lines. Remove three. Well, hold on. Wait, what does it say? Do you want well, to confuse? Oh, if it's... But I have to get rid of locked and loaded, which I'm getting rid of anyway. So yes. So yes. Locked and loaded, and I'll take a damage to do behind enemy lines. By the way, the reason I keep taking damage, symbiotic bond... Take one damage to generate a star resource once per phase. And that's phase, not turn. So that's pretty ridiculous. Uh, okay. So I just removed three threat and confused. I mean, pretty good. it doesn't feel terrible. So I'm taking three off of this one, right? And then you're going to get rid of it with whatever. Yeah. I mean, I could get rid of it with Gamora. I could play Gamora instead of combat training. I mean, one more damage is not going to be make or break, right? I could Gamora. Do you think I should Gamora? I mean, she could chump and she could do some stuff and she helps me draw cards. I feel like that's not the worst thing in the world. And I got boot camp, so she even attacks for extra. Yeah. I'm going to Gamora. Call, man. I just feel like one extra. So what are you doing with her? Uh, do you want me to thwart this or you got it? I mean, I'm definitely playing. Okay, so, so all right. So I'm going to so, attack so. Madame Mask over here. So it's one, or that's two, three, four, five, six. So that's four and then two overkill. Um, I'm just going to attack with her. 
She attacks for three. Okay. Because of uh, boot camp over here. I feel like worse things could happen there. And I assume you're flipping down, right? Yeah. I think so. Uh, so I think I'm going to play Kalu. We don't talk about Kalu, no, no. Oh, wait. When I attacked with her, I should have... Wait, wait. Hold on, hold on. Let me see what her thing says. Hero response. After Gamora attacks or thwarts, discard cards from the top of your deck until you discard an event and add it to your hand. That's not a force response, though, so I'm not going to do that. Um, I, I just don't see the point. Yeah. I remember you did that one time and you were super... I, I feel like right now it's not the right call. Do I have spiritual meditation? I feel like that's the right Summoning call spell. Here, right? Which one's that? Uh, just a zero cost so I can cycle. It's your call, yep. I mean, Helicarrier and Sorcerer Supreme are pretty good. You can't get both. I mean, every card in my hand is really good. Oh yeah, you got your crest too, which is kind of almost necessary. I mean, I feel like you can get rid of either of those and it doesn't matter. <laughs> I think I play. Do you think I play Source of Supreme? Well, what does Agatha do again? Yeah, flip oh, yeah, over I, and do Agatha. I should flip down. Heal. You're looking for a double resource here, is really what you're looking for. Is this. Oh, it's a hero action. Man, that's a good card. But you got to put the other two on the bottom of your deck, right? Yeah, it means it means I can chaos magic my mighty Avengers probably, which doesn't seem terrible. Here you go, I got your deck. Yeah. Right. And then I think I burn. I burn both of these to put out one of these and I mean I feel um, like you put out helicarrier and hold on to your crest over sort of hand size though plus one hand size for the rest of the game well here's though? the thing helicarrier is basically one hand size right I mean it's not exactly but it's basically one hand size and it can be played on either person I think the di the difference though for her is like you want to have the options right I mean, to draw I mean, at the end of the day, it kind of doesn't matter because... Right. I, I, I honestly would cycle. do Helicarrier because it's more... Um, well, first of all, it's the exact number of resources you need. Otherwise, you're holding two cards or you're discarding a good card. And I mean, Well, I that's what I'm saying, though, but it feels great. bad, right? Now, you've got a resource that I can use if I need it. Um, I, I just, you I just feel like that. it's more flexible. You know what I mean? I get. Yeah. Just, well, you, but you're you also going to be flipping down, right? So Sorcerer Supreme does nothing when you're flipped down. Helicarrier does do stuff when you're flipped down. I just feel like in a lot of ways, Helicarrier is better in this situation. By the way, uh, just as a reminder for everybody, stick around till the end of the stream, and we're going to talk about this whole cycle, right? So yep. we got that. As we play heroes, not well cycle. because. We don't want to get our butt kicked. And we could talk about that. Because I, I don't know that this cycle has the strongest heroes, does it? Oh, I got Project Rebirth. Project Rebirth is so good. Of course, I also got Drax and an Energy Spear. Into the fray, six damage to a minion. Uh, end of the phrase, pretty good. <laughs> All these cards are really good. All right, uh, where are we? Uh, we're going to add three to the main, which pops it, right? So, yeah, we got that going for us. Come on, random modular. Ransacked armory. That's kind of, that might be fun. It's just a bunch of weapons. Uh, so, do, 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 do. 
And then we flip it. When revealed, each player must resolve the hood's ability. All right, so, uh, and we're gonna add two per player. All right, so where are we? We are, who's first player? I am, uh, but we got it. So I got to draw two. This one's gonna be mine. You're mine. That's you. Oops. I mean, I yeah, losing you Ebony know. doesn't make me sad. What's this? Oh, it's a minion. Oh, I get to search. Just... A, I get to search for a minion, and then he gets four hit points and retaliate too. So that kind of sucks. Wait, does that attach to him? Yeah, attach this card to it. Oh, that's. That's okay. I hear you hit. I hear you hit big, bro. Wow. All right. Uh, so I mean, I can kill minions dead for the most part. So we got that going for us. Um, all right, so he is going to attack me. And again, he's just hitting for one, so I think I'm going to take it. I mean, yeah. Oh, so he hits for two. This garbage again. All right, so now your turn. He doesn't scheme against you. And we both draw a card. So mine is Surge and Reveal the top card of the deck, which is just freaking the worst. Hey! I haven't seen this dude in a while. He's from, he's in Ransacked Armory? Yeah. Oh, he does come in tough. He's the only yeah. negative. I mean, that's, that's actually a huge negative. I don't have piercing. Uh, oh, uh, more red. You this. You can put this on. Uh, you can put this on Gamora. Oh, that's true. Energy spear. Yep. Oh, and I got uh, into the fray. That... I mean, maybe now. Maybe I just poke with Gamora and then into the fray. Also, right? Um, that's a potential option. Attached to the minion with the most remaining hit points. You yep. cannot searching. Attached to minion deals indirect damage. And plus three. All right, well, that's not the worst. Oh, hey, remember this guy? <laughs> I got it Did we shovel? Come on now. <laughs> we literally got all the armory cards. Oh, that is good, actually. Who do, you, who, who do you want this on, by the way? Put it on him. We'll just have one big one, right? So can you hit for well, seven? Gamora's the problem gonna... is, I feel like... No, no, no. Do, do it on the same one, because Gamora's going to hit him hard. She's gonna die. You realize with the re retail. I mean, too. does it matter? Point that out. Oh, cool. Uh, do you want to just put another another modular in? Another random one. Badoon headhunter. Oh God. <laughs> That's not. Is that it really is a modular. A modular. I have doubts. So we get the headhunter and all of those other cards that, like, as you do worse and worse. No, it's down here. It's. I don't know if I don't know if I can serve. Hey, soon. look! If ship command is it is one, then bend. Ship can especially is not a campaign card. It's fine. It's fine. It's in there. I, I feel like it's. I feel like the Badoon headhunter is like the worst card in there. So, let's just hope we don't draw him. Don't they progressively get Oh, bad? yeah. They're way easier. <laughs> All, right. All right. Well, first yes. part for me. Uh, while I'm healing, uh, I'm probably going to Agatha. You're for sure Agatha, no. then, right? I mean, why wouldn't you Agatha? Do I summoning spell first? Oh, uh, okay. I know I have Quicksilver in this stack. Yeah, and you know the bottom two, so. Yeah. So I do that, right? Man, I don't know. I don't know the right call. Well. Oh, man, but I Wasteland can't. Wasteland says, to... I totally thought it's I just action. heard Terrence swear. Well, I didn't hear it, so. 
I mean, I you might have swore in your mind. I, c- I could totally see you swearing in your mind after the bull badonkadonk that we got. Uh, oh, wait, no, but it's... I you doing Agatha this first? Way, though. Cause I, well, I can't, because this is a show action, right? Oh, so uh, yeah, good call. We, you got spiritual meditation, oh, too, by the way. Jump? But the thing is, I need it in the deck, right? You need you need the card in the deck. Yeah. For some spell work. And that's a shame. No that's meditation. Okay. But what do I meditate? I, I guess you spiritual, and then you can meditate. Yeah. And then you don't need summoning spell. But then I, can't I mean, heal. it's fine. You, you're fine. I feel like spiritual is definitely the the play. Do you not? Yeah. Do those two go on the bottom? Well, no. I feel like spiritual is. I feel like meditation is still not the play because. Uh, I have to. You know, up. one of your next two you is. Well, spell. no, you just play summoning spell. That's my point. You just play it as a mana. And you can meditate and oh, spiritual don't. meditation and meditation to play Quicksilver. How much is Quicksilver? Oh, is he four? All right. So then you play that in summoning spell. So it's the same thing. It's it's literally like, I guess it's six and one half dozen in the other. So yeah, maybe you do take magic shield in that situation then. Or death focus. Death focus. Yeah, I guess the benefit is you still have those two in your deck. All right. Uh, do I heal? Before That's your I call, man. What do we still have in front of us? We still have this garbage, which isn't the worst thing in the world right now. Although we do have to start taking threat off the main scheme, like. I think I do, just so I don't have to flip down. Yeah, wow. heal. Up. Now, are you gonna? You're not gonna avenge her, because uh, you want a summoning first. No, because I think at this point, this is where you summoning spell, yeah, right? So you gotta. So I, do, I probably do shield and. I mean, do spiritual meditation. You're not gonna do that, right? Or are you mystic on this side? No. Oh, you are. I'm mystic on both sides. But, like, the thing is, you don't well, want you're not going to modular decay, are you? Silver is. I know it's in... Right. No. So there you go. I mean... I think at this point, now now I get... I mean, no. Has to be. But, yeah, oh, yeah, no. and he comes right into play, which is... God, so good. Discard cards from the top of your deck, put it in, into play. Yeah. So he can attack for four yeah. or thwart for two, which, I mean, I don't think that's a choice. Yeah. All right, so now I do this. Yes. Well, you know what those two are also. It's Chaos Magic and the uh, Mighty Avengers thing. Oh, but you don't have to discard one of those two. So you can still put it in Mighty Avengers, as you said. Probably probably Hexball, right? I mean, you might want to Chaos Magic in your press, though, too. What does Mighty Avengers do? Mighty Avengers? Plus one. It's and plus one to both their stats. Oh, plus yeah, one. with uh, Quicksilver. And holy crap. Yeah, exactly. Uh, so now, do you need any of this stuff? I mean, if you want to use it, use it, dude. What, what do you I don't know. Well, hold on. Chaos Magic, you got to do something bad, right? Yeah, we got to do three. Three. Three up top. I mean, I'm not sad to see any of those go. I don't know what the first one was. But that's true of, like, the entire deck well, yes. at this point. <laughs> I mean, advance is good to uh, see go okay, so, at this point. Yeah, I mean, Do you have a I, double resource in here or no? I don't... I don't know. I don't think you see. do. No, I, I've seen these cards. This is the Spell Shield and uh, the other thing, right? I, these are like the two so cards are you go, are, it's like spell shield and so thing, are yeah, you going to do you want to keep death focus in your hand or you don't care it'd be nice for those hex bolts right 
all right, so, I mean, then you take both of them and draw a card and then pay for whatever card. No, I don't need, I no, only no. need one. You could put the crest put in. Focus I think the crest important. is more important to put in. I don't think... I, I, I'm, not, I'm not using it this turn, so I don't... No, you this. could use it for their turn, too. When they attack, when they thwart, you can use it to reduce that number. Right? So yeah. I think you use both of your things. I don't know that I need anything. I mean, look, I'd love to flip down, but it's just not an option right now for me. I mean, do you want me to... Do you want Quicksilver to just take out this? What do you think? I think we need to at some point. I don't mind taking the one damage, and if I flip down, actually he does nothing. So, actually, I think that's probably the right call. And then you kill the thing that comes out, right? Well, we don't know what's coming out. What do you mean? Whatever it's just an encounter oh, yeah. card. Did you do this? I think that this yeah, is the Yeah, I mean, you it, right? can do it easily. So Quicksilver again. And uh, I think you... As an action, you, you can ready him, limit once per phase. So he thwarts for two because of your uh, Mighty Avengers. And then he thwarts for two again. Yep. All right, uh, and then again, I think, right, yeah, I think you, you use, use both, both to get your crest in. I feel like the crest is good, like super good, right? And if I flip down, I can do Project Rebirth. Um, and I feel like I don't into the fray. All right, well, I'm going to pay Drax. Let's do that to put Energy Spear on Gamora. So now Gamora attacks for four with piercing, right? So do you just take out this one? No, I take, out this, take one? out this one. I mean, if you take out this one and you leave this one up, you can deal with the next turn, and then Gamora will be able to attack one more time. Oh, I'm flipping down anyway, so I guess it doesn't matter, right? So then I can yeah, thwart exactly. myself this turn, in fact, if I do it that way. All right, so Gamora is going to attack and attack. I mean, you may want to. She actually attacks for five well, but yeah, you... uh, with piercing. Yeah, but this, this, this goober has like seven health, right? Well, but if I hit him, then I could also into the fray to overkill to remove all the threat as well. Yeah, but you want Project I definitely Rebirth. need to Project Rebirth. And unfortunate... Oh, no, no, you know I mean, what? I'm going to take I, the I damage think, to Project think... Rebirth. Because I'm going to keep these two in my hand, I think, for next turn. Yeah, um, yeah. So I'm going to take the damage to Project Rebirth, and I'm going to thwart, I think. For three? You don't want to heal? I guess you heal twice. So yeah, six. I mean, I'm going to heal for six with Project Rebirth. So I'm going to flip down Project Rebirth to heal three. Because that lets me heal three or draw a card. Seems good. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the other. Yeah. I mean, I guess at this some point we should. Oh crap! I was gonna down. get rid of that this turn. Do you want me it's to? Fine. Hold on. I still can. No, no, no. That's I fine. still can. Wait. Did, did I take a damage to put something? Oh, for Project Rebirth. Yeah, you put it. It's it's fine. It'll just deal with the next turn. I mean, it's I'm one extra turn, threat so though, okay, as well. Which I guess. Yeah, but I mean, I mean, you're into the fraying, right? Like, yeah. it should be okay. All right, so I'm gonna draw three, uh, four cards, and ready up. I got my multi gun finally, uh, by the way. So I'm gonna put multi gun out after I use my hand cannon this turn. So I'm probably not gonna end the fray. Maybe. We'll see. Ooh. Rapid response. Uh, so many, so many quicksilver uses. Well, all right. So go ahead and ready up. Um, all right. So your first player, we're gonna add three threat. One, two, three. Then he's going to attack you. Wait, why do you already have two cards in front of you? Is that right? I yeah, because I got one from the the side scheme. 
and I got one from decking. So it's going to be a fun turn. Terrence, me. Terrence, Terrence. Oh my gosh. So he's going to attack you for two. You're blocking, right? Yeah. Yep. Plus two more is four. Doesn't matter. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay. Cool. And then he is going to scheme against me for three, which is terrible. Gives him an additional boost card. Well, it's not going to matter. Wait, wait, hold on. Uh... When a boost icon and counter card would be counted, discard and count. Them. Do you want me to switch that card? And the next one's just going to add to it. So all you're doing that, is removing is one control? card. Wait, what does yours say? When boost icons on an encounter card would be counted, discard the top card of the encounter deck and count the number of boost icons on that card instead. But I still think you'd do this boost effect. So I think what you do is you crown it to reduce okay. it by one, right? For sure. Well, I mean, we'll just draw the Okay, next so card it's total of three. And then you crown to reduce to two plus the three he does. So that's five. Uh, it was at three, so it's at right. eight now. Okay, and then this schemes for all or nothing. All right, go, yeah, go ahead and draw right? your card. Oh man, it's Bad fine. Times. You're fine. Uh, now you're not fine. Uh, oh, I got one more. Now the only negative is tough. Uh, don't I you do, need to get but... tough? Do I just maybe? There? Yeah. Yeah, I think you're fine defending. He only attacks for two, plus one, so you take one damage. Yeah, that's not terrible. I mean, you're not you're not here for your stat line. So you want to discard a card? Uh, I don't think I I don't think I want to lose cast. So actually. you're gonna take two damage, and it surges too. So. By the way, just in case that's not terrible enough. I'll draw it for you. Oops. This is yours. Oh, gosh. The villain attacks. Quicksilver or Gamora, you think? I mean, Quicksilver attacks for four. No, six. But you get, but rid, I get of tough, rid of right? tough and I attack for five. But multi, you get, you I am going to have multi-gun. Gun. But I'm going to okay. have multi-gun after I attack with my hand cannon. It's the problem. I can I can sack Quicksilver if you want. I think Quicks I think call. Quicksilver is the call. I hate to say it. Is it though? You I think mean... Gamora is better in this situation? Gamora is attacking for five. He attacks for six, and Gamora gets rid of tough. Yeah, but I, I also have rapid response in my hand. So what does that mean? He he gets he can activate four times next turn. So that'd be. Is defeated it's okay. mean? Okay, well then I'll, I'll block with Gamora then. I'll block with Gamora. Uh, it's. I think we just. I'll, I'll no, no, no I'll deck. block it's with okay. Gamora. You just cycled your deck. That's the problem. I'm gonna get Gamora back quickly. I only have nine cards left in my deck. I'm I'm blocking with Gamora. But okay. you're taking this tough off. Yep. Um, with one of your four attacks, you're taking that tough off. <laughs> Either that or I do put multi gun out and I just get rid of hand cannon. We'll see. Oh, I'm gonna be first player. Crap. Yeah. yeah. What's it's not great. Oh, does that no. change stuff? Because it means I can't activate. Quicksilver's not exhausted, by the way. No, I can't activate until it's What do you mean you can't player. activate? I can't activate Quicksilver right. until my turn. So you So you'd have to I'd have to get multi gun out. And then I can't kill him, but that's fine. Quicksilver will kill him, right? It's fine. It's not ideal, but it's it is what it is. I guess you can hold. Into I mean, the I could hit him with into the fray. Then. That's the other thing. Can I pay for both? I mean, maybe with some help from my friends, I could pay for both. 
Um, yeah. All right. All right. Reveal your last card. My only card. Oh. <laughs> Is that change stuff? No, I mean, this guy's yes. still hits like a No, he's though, worse right? than freaking Headhunter. But, I mean, you can help me kill him too, right? There is that. All right. Is it your turn? I mean, do I draw a card? No, I still think I... No, you got to heal on five. All right. I'm still going to spiritually meditate. All right. Uh... So I think I put in multi-gun first. Right? Yeah. One, two, three. It sucks to get rid of Grasping Tendrils, but... So, hand cannon's gone. And then I use it... Wait, 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 wait. Are you... Do you attack first without it for what on my Padoon. but this guy's gonna freaking rock my world if i do okay so quicksilver can attack for three on my turn so how much do i hit for two three i yeah. only hit for six so i couldn't even kill him oh but i would kill him with multi-gun and then he's got seven life. No, I, 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 I can, I can drop him down to six health, and then you can. Oh, I can multi gun on your turn, by the way. Oh, but the multi gun would get rid of tough, so there's no reason not to do it on my turn. I mean, you could use three or your four attacks to kill him. That's my point. I don't know if Quicksilver was as good as Gamora. Well, you still get an extra attack. You you would need to use three or four attacks to drop him. Uh, yes. on this guy. Right. If you multi gun now, you get rid of tough, and how much do you hit him? But for? if I hit Badoon, I would hit him for four. So either way, you'd have to do three attacks to kill the, to make sure everything in front of me is dead. Unless I, well, I can't into the fray. Unless, uh, actually, if you give me one of these, I can into the fray. You also have your symbiotic bond. Oh, touche. Although I'm just got healed, but yes. All right. So I guess that's the call. I multi gun. Get rid of this. Put one damage on him. Now I. Or should I have hit? Should I have hit you first? Want. That's what I do. I hit first. So I hit first with my hand cannon. So two, three, four, five, six. Oh wait. Wait. But shouldn't you just hit this guy hard one time? I can only do four. Four. With hand cannon, I do six. So I do okay. six to him. Right. I do six to him first. But I, I guess part of it's just like, don't you want to minimize the amount of Rutal 2 that we take? Settle down. All right, I do six to him. Right? Whoa, do I do I take Rutal with the tough? No, it's not an attack. Okay, so then I multi. So then I play multi gun. So first thing I did is hand cannon to six. Then I multi gun to do one to him. Or six, yeah, one to him and one to him. Does it also do it to the boss? No, just each minion engaged with that player. Oh, this is victory point. Wait, he did, how does he have damage on him? You got rid of tough with multi. You are correct. Yeah, but now he sells. Like I seven can do health. six with and into the fray, is... and then you're killing him. So I will take retaliation from into the fray. But it, yeah, is it? Is it better for you to just do the four and then Well, here's what you him? do. You Quicksilver, and then Quicksilver's second attack will be on him. Right? You Quicksilver to thwart for two or something. And then your s second attack will be okay. that. Now, the problem is I'm not getting rid of this gun, by the way, or this armor. What the heck is this? 
It just reads how on Hood. Yeah, I mean, I guess we're not worried about Hood for now. Yeah, so if you can hit Quicksilver with your second attack, right? Yeah. Then we're good. Yeah. And then I'll play into the fray on my turn. On your turn, rather. On my on my turn. Okay. So how much health he has? He has seven, but it doesn't matter. You're going to do seven three, right okay. yeah, and yeah. then I'm going to end the fray for six more. So that'll be nine, and that'll be okay. two overkill, which will remove two threat from the scheme. So do you do you do you want one of these things? I guess it'd be nice not to take damage. I mean, you for now take it and let's maximize your turn. And if you've got this left over, then I'll take it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Give it a hex ball. Just keep drawing until I get something awesome. This is. I mean, that's double resources isn't bad. Just give give Quicksilver a tough. So you can give Quicksilver tough, and then you can attack him for your first attack. I mean, does that matter? Uh, okay, I would so give Quicksilver see. tough after you're done your turn. And... Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Um, okay, so I try to draw an ally, and I drew literally six more cards this turn. I did not draw one, uh, but that's fine. Okay, so I think I play two for rapper response and you can hold chaos magic as an upgrade and then i am boarding for two yeah is that right uh and then he readies and then i'm tacking for three three yep yeah. rapper response triggers he's down to one health and you uh, hold on now before you do anything I'm going to end of the fray. Do you need your helicarrier? Or yeah. do, do I take the wound or the whatever damage? Or do I take your helicarrier? Because that's two. Uh, I think. I mean, if you need it, just tell me. I can take one damage. It's not the end of the world. Yeah. Oh, let's see. So if I put... Yeah, focus in, and then I can ready for action, put tough, and I hold chaos magic. So you need it or no? Yeah. I think I'll use it. You yeah. do need it. Yeah. Okay, so I'll take the damage to pay yeah. in for, into the fray. Wait, what's that? Don't tap. It's not your turn yet. I'm, I'm doing it into the fray. So I do uh, four more here because he has a total of seven life because of yeah. one of these stupid cards. Uh, so, so that's four more damage here, and two goes to the boss. No, uh, no, it goes right. threat. Two removes threat. Which honestly is. Oh, I mean, it's nice. not terrible. All right, so now you're now back to you. Sorry. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna put death focus in, and then I'm gonna put. Uh, no, 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 I'm gonna use quicksilver first. Uh, uh, so do I just thwart with him, get it down to zero? Because I don't, I don't want this garbage, right? Well, are you flipping down? Quick mantle. I can't flip down this turn. Do you want me to flip down? I can flip down. I mean, if we're putting it to zero, we should flip down, right? One of us should. Okay. In that in that case, uh, you take my health carrier. So I get one more health back is all that does. I can fetch a card, right? So. Yes. Yeah, so I, I will I will thwart it down to zero. Okay. Uh, I will flip down. Ready? Oh no! Before I flip down, I will to ready for action tough. to give him tough. Yep. And then I will Agatha for three. Oh, there, there's some allies. Uh, oh, man. Tower? I mean, at discard no, tower. Tower or keep tower. Right. Keep, uh, but I doesn't yeah, make do, every mean, one of your allies cheaper. The yeah. literally the rest of the game. Yeah, I mean Falcon's good, but what do you have to do with it? Discard? No, you just put him back in, right? Yeah, just just I uh, I want to discard to play Death Focus to get out of my hand. Oh, so you so, want to 
pick something that you don't care about. I think meditation might be yes. the right call. Then. It, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Docking below that. And then put this out, and then basically next turn I can flip up and then Chaos Magic something yes. awesome, hopefully. I mean, I have to be, because I, I, I'm like halfway through my deck, kind of, and I haven't drawn any allies. Yeah, no, I mean... I, I don't disagree with any anything you're saying here, and we got rid of some bold right. junk. Like that was that that was that was yeah. tough. Basically, this stuff is the only thing left, but the rest of the board I mean, is clear. Oh, right? do I take retaliate for hood? No, because oh no, I didn't do damage. Right. We we ne okay. no no we never attacked. Them. Cool. All right, so I'm gonna ready everything, and I'm gonna draw five. Oh, I got spider sense. Oh, and I got Bug, by the way, which seems good. And I got Groot. I mean, Groot. Groot's the worst of those things. I mean, honestly, I'm doing Bug and Spider Sense. I don't, I don't even think it's close. Do you? <laughs> no. Because, I mean, Spider Sense is like probably one. Yeah, and then I Bug is Bug is pretty turn, ridiculous because I'm cards. clearly going to attack every turn. Um. Well, and he attacks for two, even without spear right now. Yes, he attacks for two because of boot camp. So, yeah. yeah. All right. All right. So, we're going to add three. Three. We're going to have him attack me for... I guess I don't defend. I just take it, right? I'm going to have to flip down. I'm going to have to flip down Thank at you. some point soon. I mean, the only other option would be Quicksilver with his tough. Oh yeah, quick, quick, silver takes it. He is tough. But and he, he does ready still, right? So that would have been four. So that's nice. Now he doesn't get pierced with any of these, does he? No. Okay. Uh, so quick, silver readies, and then for you, he schemes against. So he schemes for three plus yep. another three. You can redraw with Wanda, and you have your crown, by the way. No, I um, it has to be hero for uh, at least Wanda's ability. But I think Cress is not, not here. So you can drop it by one if you want. Uh, yes. Uh, I <laughs> so won't. that's three plus three is six minus one is five. So we're up to eight, which isn't the end of the world. All right. So draw yours. Badoon Henchman. C. Oh, he surged. I was about to say C. He's not that bad. Oh, eight health? What the? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Surge with eight health. Holy moly. Oh, and Proxima. And Proxima. I hear you like to I kill mean, things. I try to kill things. I mean, it was better when I had my, uh, whatchamacallit. Oh, I bug too, so that's good. Uh, he schemes. It's not great. Two. So three plus two is five again. And then foul play. So there Wait, you go. We both get foul play? I as well. No, no, no. I do because of this oh, stupid so this card. goes into play? Oh. Yeah. And it surges. Though. Wait, it surges too? Wait, what? This card surges the card that I got. Oh, gosh. Play. Now, hold on. What does foul play say? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, because it goes in. You it's... put it in front of you. Oh. Uh, so wait, we, this has eight on it, by the way. And then put this this nice four side scheme thing. All right, I feel like we just lost. Like this stopping us from thwarting is, I mean, I, I there's nothing we could do. I mean, also by the way, headhunter and or henchman and Proxima. Yeah. All right. Well, that's that that happened. Uh, let's go ahead and take our turns and see if we can't do something about that. All right. Remember how I said I, bug was so important? Good. Savage attack's looking way better now. Or maybe savage attack and bug, and I just forget spider sense all, all together. What do I take? I mean, I would totally take your mansion and helicarrier this turn. If you don't need him. 
I feel like it's worth it to get Bug and Savage Attack into play. Seems... Yeah. Because you have a lot of card draw, right? I mean, depends on why I get from Hex Ball. It's your call. Uh, do I just meditate and put Black Knight in for free? Uh, I mean, you do have Chaos Magic, right? What are you going to use that for? Uh, potentially card draw some Hex Bolt. Okay. Can I take your mansion at least? And hope I get sure. a double resource? I did not. No, I mean, you can get a Savage. Oh, attack. and I can take a damage to do the extra resource I need. So, I'm, I'm good at this point. Uh, okay, so I think I do this. I mean, he's piercing too, right? Yeah, he the attacks for three and thwarts for two. So at bare minimum, he will at least thwart as much as I would have thwarted. Yes. Uh, and then I think the next play is to... Do I keep Warp Reality? Probably, right? Counter card? Yeah, I mean, that's real good. So I do this to play hex ball wait and what did you pay just how i care i mean are you keeping the other hex bolt i guess all right i'm playing yeah. with genius right zero so it's two um, damage um yeah I, you want that right i assume yeah i mean anything that takes these down where wherever you want it wherever you want it I mean, Proxima's got to go down. I don't have overkill as a problem. So how much damage do I do? I do four myself. Bug's going to do two. So that's six. Oh, I got a five damage attack. So, yeah, we'll just put it here. Two, you said? Uh, Yeah. Where do you want two threat removed? I mean, I feel like we do this, right? There's no penalty for this one. May as well not... Yeah. I mean, gotta remove yeah, both, I mean, right? may as well not take the penalty first. Zero is two more damage. Yes. I mean, you can change it if you want, but I will. I do exactly I four, need, so that's actually perfect. Right? I could take him out, and then I've got um, right. what you gonna call it? Savage attack to take him out. All right, another hex vault. Hold on, hold on, hold on. One thing we're not thinking about is these still. I feel like at least the gun we got to take out at some point. But. Do you want me no, to take all right, out? so you're doing two more damage? No, this is card draw. Do I take the card draw? Go for it if you want. want damage you want thwart on this i mean i th feel like thwart's more important but do you, would you take uh retaliate or no no it's not an attack. your call then i still think thwart i mean we're gonna lose from threat before we die at this well i guess it's like i can either replace the card or uh, oh you already used I your crown it, so it doesn't matter I mean, two damage is fine. That's up to you, though. Or do we cycle it to try to get something else? I mean, if you don't need the damage, to I kill do your not. Stuff, I am killing I my stuff right now, as is. Uh, does it allow you to thwart if you get two more damage? No. no, right? I would need four more damage to be able to thwart. Okay, so I'm replacing it with one. So remove two threat. We can't Dang do it. Man. Yep. All right, well, oh, well. you didn't do the damage. Hey, shadows. I mean, it might be worth, depending on what you draw. Oh, man. I mean, I, I, guess, you, I guess you got I to. I... Yeah. I was going to say, it might be worth getting rid of some of this. So hold on. If with your summoning spell, you get enough stuff to kill like some of my stuff... Then that opens me up to get rid of this myself. You know, 
All right, so what do I have in discard here? Just Kalu. So literally any other allies on the table for me. I think I just chaos match. I think you some probably spell. do, yeah. What do you think? All right. So two cards. Well, that's okay with that. Power man. Well, that changes things for attack, right? What's his attack? Five. So he can kill this. If I use both counters. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah because it, right? again, if I don't have to deal with this crap, I can deal with this crap. So now I don't need to savage attack anymore. So you kill him for five? Yep. yep. I mean, shoot, if you could do four more, I could then thwart this away. I mean, it's not a huge benefit because we still have another one, but I mean, it's something. Like if you attack better than thwarting, oh no, I only thwart for three. Gosh darn it. Oh no, but I got this. That's a free two more. So actually, if you could thwart for two, I could thwart something away. I can thwart for two. I can thwart for two. Black Knight thwarts for two. Okay. And then this is an action. One thwarts for two, basically, this on my board now. This is an action. So remove two threat from a scheme. I'm just going to do it now to get rid of this. I feel like, given all the crap that just went down, we no, are no, not we're doing terrible. not in the worst. I'm not going to say we're in a good spot, but we're not in the worst spot ever. I mean, the problem is is still threat because three is bull crap. We remember you got to do his thing every turn. I mean, yeah, I feel like I thwarted for six, so I feel like I did okay. But so here's the other option. He thwarts for two. I could thwart this away, but I can't get thwart on the main. A uh, bug could, bug could, bug could thwart for just one though. Right? Yeah. Well, the other alternative. Yeah. I just Fine. feel like this is an issue. Well, I feel like this is an issue. Uh, well, so it's not popping I mean, I this turn. Well, it's not popping this turn. We have another turn to deal with it. So are you quicksilvering to get two off of it, or I, I mean, what do you want? Or I was just gonna hold him for chomping, but I can have him board. I mean, you have two other guys to chomp, right? Power Man's completely useless at this point, right? Yeah. I feel like two from quicks. I mean, it's not like we need the two off here now, but I mean, two is still two, right? I mean, I guess you could hold them. And then take the two off next turn. It, it literally doesn't matter for this turn. Are, are you are you going no, to do it this I'm... turn? Okay. All right. So are you done? Yeah. All right. So is priority this or um, spider sense? I feel like spider sense, right? Okay. So I'm going to pay two to get spider sense. Do I pay two more for bug and then I just get rid of the pistol? Sure. All right. So one, two pays for bug. So the reason bugs so good for people who don't know for this deck specifically is um, every time I attack, I heal one damage from bug. So he could thwart for one. He could attack for two. Basic attack. Um, yeah, whenever I do a basic attack. Which, when I do a basic attack, don't forget, I get two Venom Pistols as well. So, pretty good. I mean... Uh, so you thwart for one, and that puts him... This puts it, basically, your thwart away, potentially. No, I thought you thwarted for two. Oh, no, you decided not to. Okay. I mean, I don't... That... I'm just saying if you thwart for Instead one, of attacking, yeah, because I don't want Bug turn. to attack because he'll get retaliated on, so that's stupid. So yes, so I attack for, I thwart for one. But if you do thwart with that's, him, he does Yeah, I'm not going to thwart. I'm killing this dude. I got to kill this dude. Um, So I'm attacking for two, three, four. Gets rid of the headhunter. 
Are any of these victory display? Uh, the, I already took the actual headhunter and put him in victory display. Okay. I mean, this is ridiculous. Eight health, two attack, one scheme, and surge and patrol. Oh. Yeah. I cannot thwart, but my allies can, right? Or no? What patrol. Did you say that? Yeah, you cannot thwart. Okay. Your allies so can. my allies thwarted that. I didn't. But yeah, you also one, no, because then I couldn't heal. Because when I attack, it heals him, right? So that that's that's the weird order thing. All right, so here's a fist. I take a damage for my second resource, and that gets rid of this. Which, by the way, we should have done like 10 turns ago. That was stupid to leave that out as long as we did. Like, that, that killed us, that staying out as long as it was. Um, okay, but here we are. Unfortunately, I'm drawing an extra card. Ooh. But I can... Oh, I got my holster. Response. I got my holster it, and a hand cannon. And run a gun. I can't pay for all of this stuff. I mean, rapid response... If I don't chop with Quicksilver... And so you can thwart three times next turn so six. and i mean we're gonna need that thwart oh he thwarts for three as well no he thwarts for two but i can activate uh, him twice well and, and i'm back. going first so i can get rid of this first which is not the worst thing in the world all right we just got to survive here i mean honestly we're in survival mode and we got to get rid of this um i mean i'm more likely to be the one to be able to get rid of it but man i got some good cards in my hand um I mean, I got to get rid of running gun to get rid of this. So running gun, I'd get rid of one other thing. Probably Cosmo. Oh, anyway, I'll, I'll worry about that later. Because I'm probably going to put... I want the holster in play. No question about it. All right. So where are we? Okay. Um, we're going to add... Oh, three to the main. Yep, one away. <sighs> All right. That's like a big sigh here. All right. So... I, I, I mapped it. Man. All right. So you're getting attacked first. Yep. I'm jumping okay. on Power Man. So that's two damage only. But two is enough. All right. I'm just going to take it. I don't think I can do anything to uh, not take it. But I do have Spider Sense. So I'm going to draw a card first. You yeah, draw so first. If I get... yeah. There you go. <sighs> boom, boom, boom. If you want to. I think I have to, right? I think no, no, team building. Two, right? No, I'm not getting rid of my holster. Yeah, these two. Team building, yeah, yeah. hand cannon. I mean, I could take a damage also. I could get rid of team building or hand cannon and take a damage. I'm going to take the to damage because... And I'm getting rid of hand cannon because I have another one. Team building's pretty good. It lets me get my guardians out cheaper. So, but that's two fists because I took the damage. That's a wild. That's a fist there. So, tendrils, I take no damage, and he's stunned. I mean, that's, holy, <laughs> what just happened? That's, that's spider sense. I mean, you, right? what just happened? Yeah, my spider sense. That That's just like, that's like comic book that, move right That there. was like, pretty epic right there, is correct. Okay. I draw cards, right? Uh, uh yeah, so you're first. Oh, oh no, we gotta we gotta put that good and I oh, uh, man. token there. Oh man. Wait, does this No, it's not numbered. I can't I get plus two. Alright, <sighs> take your card. Is it the same one? It is. So to get rid of it, we're gonna have to take freaking a million cards. Now bug now oh. bug can do it again. Do you do you warp that reality or do you save it for scheming? What does that mean? Um I don't know. I mean if we get an advance, we're screwed. Um, yeah. That's what I, I'm we saying, can get like... rid of these two this turn. Cause you're okay. we'll, we'll figure it out. 
The hood attacks you and resolve foul play. You're blocking it? I mean, the foul play is the other terrible part about that, right? Like, I, I think you warp reality of this. I mean, I that's it's not, uh, two advanced. bad things. Like, advance could come here just as easily. You know what I mean? All right. It's hard top card. Wait. What does it warp reality do? For warp. It's number boost icons. Just card the top card. Okay. Pray to God. Search. I mean, <laughs> one reveal, discard, and upgrade or support you control. Okay. Discard. Project Rebirth. Gone. I don't need to think about that. I ain't flipping down anytime soon. Right? I mean, the only other option would be Spider Sense. Uh. I mean, I'm well, not getting rid of well, a pistol, right? Uh, like, <sighs> all right, here. So hold on. Uh, why don't you take? A, why don't you take a card? Draw a card. Another running gun. Am I getting rid of this? Oh, well, I think it only matters if we're gonna attack. Well, hold on. I, I mean, I kind of jumped a. Wait, he's not stunned. He's not stunned, by the way, unless you get rid of it. No, I did stun him. No, I just mean he is steady. Oh, but he has one stun card on him. So if we get rid of it, he will yeah, actually yeah, yeah. be stunned. Yes. Um. So you said you, meaning I have to do it, <laughs> is what you're trying to say to me. Is there any way I can get team building and Cosmo in play and get rid of this stupid thing? I mean, I, I think the thing you have to think about is like, is run and gun the better play in this turn? No. I mean, you have to get rid of henchmen. Do right? I? I mean, we have to thwart this team down. Yes, he has uh, patrol. Oh, I guess you can do side schemes. Yeah, the main scheme. Who cares? In fact, I, I care not at all about that. Um, well, let's see. Should I hex bolt first? Sure. Zero is two damage. Zero. Do you want to do damage? him? I don't you care. Should I replace it? I mean, the I don't know that I would replace it. There's too much other important stuff to do, right? I, I mean, you Wait, could add you one to make it thwart, right? That's the option. Isn't... I yeah. mean, I would do that before I would replace it. Well, I mean, everything's good, right? Like, status card... Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's all good. That's why I don't know that I would replace it. I would just do the two damage, right? Two damage, or do you need the damage? Or do you want the thwarting? I mean, we need it all. I I don't know. I don't know. Do you want me to math it out? All right. So I do yes. four. If I run and gun, I could do eight. Bug could do two damage. So that'd be six. So the two damage would let me kill him without running gun. Currently. And actually, even. Even okay. without it, I got multi gun, so I could definitely kill him either way. So this right now kills him, but that means I don't thwart at all. Are, are I mean, who's who's getting rid of this three cost tribute though? That's you, right? I mean, I got to kill him first. Oh no, I don't. I don't. But two damage is not great either. I mean, you thwart for what six with Quicksilver? Or are you saying you'd rather attack with Quicksilver for... No, I'm not. I'm not attacking with Quicksilver. <laughs> they're, they're, we don't have that luxury for Quicksilver to attack with three. 
That's oh, what I'm, I'm saying. You want me to kill him. If you, uh, yeah, I'm not saying kill the boss. I'm saying help me kill him, and then I can thwart more. Although the problem is, if we wait till your turn to kill him, then I can't thwart anything anyway. Yeah, so it doesn't exactly. matter. Yeah, yeah. I don't think I. So do you want the two damage? Or do you want me to thwart? I mean, I think it's almost six and one half dozen another. I mean, am I getting rid of this? I guess this it doesn't matter this turn, right? All right, so we're not getting rid of that. So I, that opens up some things. So I can run and gun, and I could team build. No, I can't team building. I basically can run and gun and put in my holster. That's it. Or I could team building in Cosmo. So you, you do or don't need the two damage. How much does that help you? I mean, at this point, everything helps. <laughs> like, anything you can do helps. I say do the two damage because that way you don't... If it's equivalent, it doesn't cost you anything, right? So that's two damage. Remove two threat. So now you're going to remove two. Are you going to remove it from the bottom one? Okay. Yes. Uh, do you want two more damage? Do you want me to just get rid of those? Well, no. Because if it's two more damage, then I exactly kill him. So that's perfect. I mean, it's literally equivalent because my gun either is going to get rid of it or do the two damage here, right? So it, it doesn't matter, I guess is what I'm trying to tell you. Okay. Uh, except... Can you do the perfect three or are you going to have Bug do the one? Three is such an awkward number for me. I only need Well, if I run and gun, I'm getting rid of the three, right? And I get an extra multi-gun out of that. Okay. That's the thing I'm like... That's the thing yes. I'm missing here. So, yes. like, I can do two more thwarting. So, yes, I am good. Right now, that is perfect for me. That... Okay, well, I'm out of... That I'm is literally this, perfect for so. me. So, wait, what's Bug going to do? Bug can thwart. Or Bug can attack. Bug's going to attack him. I'm going to multi-gun him. And then I'll thwart for three and maybe attack the boss. I don't know what I'm going to do for my second thing. Because if I attack for four, what's Bug going to do? It, yeah. Because I, I can't attack because it's stupid retaliate, right? That's That's kicking me in the face right now. So you attack, you thwart. Which gets rid of both of these. Right? I mean, I can get rid of all this stuff. I'm getting rid of all this stuff. The question is, I'm going to have an extra activation that I don't know what to do with. No, no. So you, you attack with Venom, right? Well, hold on. No, I got to attack with Bug first. And then you right? thwart. So that's two more. That puts it up to six. Then I multi-gun to get rid of this jobber. But then what do you do with your second That's what I'm saying. Like, then I thwart for three. Get rid of this. And I get a card. Okay? Then I run and gun, and multi-gun will get rid of this. Okay. And then you just thwart it. Oh, again, by right? the way, when I attacked, that goes away. Oh, I thwart main. I, I totally I mean, forgot about just... thwarting main. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So I'm putting my uh, holster in. Totally spaced on thwarting main, by the way. I was just like, uh, you seem to be confused Three about... Three running guns. So running gun, ready's venom, and every weapon I have. All right, so then I thwart two to get rid of this garbage. Does that mean I get another card, by the way? Do both of them give me a card? Yeah, they do, don't they? <sighs> what the heck is wrong with this stupid hood? Okay, so that's done. So I assume you're going to be doing some major stuff because I just kick some butt and now I've got a bazillion terrible cards in front of me. Probably. I mean, I did most of my turn, right? On your turn. Well, no, because you're going to Quicksilver, right? right? Yeah. So I'm putting Rapper Spons in. Uh, Quicksilver sorting for two. Off main. Goes back down to one health. 
another two, and another two. And then I'm going to thwart for another four. Four? Oh, I thought you were like, Black Knight is a thwarting genius. Well, with all that said, should either of us flip down? Uh, I mean, honestly, I don't know that I want to flip down. Do you want to flip down? I will not say you quick, no quick, to quick, it. Uh, crew quarters and Agatha. Why don't you yeah. flip down now? Oh, can you? Yeah, you can still crest I... too. Oh, did you not draw your card for Avengers Mansion, or you did? No, I gave. Oh yeah. yeah. Did you draw your second running gun? I think I, I think finally you do take, take tower, tower, right? Because <laughs> you're about to not have very many allies left. Because your rapid response is gone too, or does it last till the end of the turn? Yep. No, 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 no. That, that's regroup. Oh, it's just one ally. I got it. Yeah, yeah. Cool. I mean, sure. we haven't lost. <laughs> so there's. It's down to two. So I, I mean, bottom line is if this goes to three, it's basically over. Like, three is like end game unless you're killing it in two seconds. The bottom. <sighs> I mean, we are adding four. But I, I do get rid of two a turn. I don't know. I don't know, man. This is this is stressing me out, Terrence. I got Marvel Boy. I did all that work to get Marvel Boy, and now... Oh, I also have Into the Fray. Hey, I got Crew Quarters and Groot. So I got some stuff. I don't know that I need... All right. Well, we're about to deal with like five I mean, cards, so Terrence, we'll Terrence, Terrence. Is. All right, so we added the threat, and he's stunned. Oh, but I didn't get rid of this. Yeah. Oh, so stun means literally nothing. I am first player, so I'm about to get attacked. I'm just gonna take this. You want me shot? No, I'm gonna take it. He only attacks for one, right? Plus boost. All right. I mean, I'm not gonna say no to a chump. The only negative yeah. is I don't get spider sense. I mean, do you, I, if you really want it, I'm not going to stop you. But you're right. I mean, I can't just keep taking damage. All right. If it's just one, I'm going to be so mad. Okay, it's not. <laughs> it's four. Are you sure you didn't want to take <laughs> I mean, off face? Four to function? my face? I'm, I'm pretty sure I don't want that. All right, so he is going to scheme now. Now, thankfully, you have some mitigation with your thing. Uh, so he's scheming for two plus one is three. I assume you're getting rid of one, so just two. Yeah. Okay. Yep. All right. So where are we at? My turn to draw a card. Cards. Take it. <sighs> this this is a lot. This is a lot. Black dwarf. Okay. Oh no! What is this? Dead to rights. Surge. So let's start with the surge. Exhaust your identity. If you cannot place two threat on the main scheme, well, that's. We don't like to see that. Attach your identity. If the hood activates against you, resolve foul play. Yeah, well, we don't like to see that. <laughs> I, mean, I gotta flip. I gotta flip down at some point. Oh, hey, hello, oh. darkness, my old friend. This that one. This is the eight one. Eight. Eight. I mean, I feel like we just got rid of eight. Okay. With no sweat last turn. The problem is, I'm exhausted. This is all terrible. What? Terrence. Uh, Black Dwarf engages again, uh, activates against you. So what does he do? Three with overkill? I mean, I'm just taking three. <sighs> okay, and you draw until you get it. Or no, you get to pick a Black Order. Which I don't know, man. <laughs> like, remember how it was not terrible two seconds ago? Well, guess what just happened? Yeah, uh, do you just take Proxima? I feel like she's probably the least bad one, right? I mean, I'm gonna overkill the f out of something. I think we keep Black Dwarf in front of me, and I flip down this turn and pray to God I get whatever back. <laughs> Wait, he gets plus three, so he's at nine. 
Nine and overkill. Okay, well, we have two turns to get rid of them because I'm flipping down, right? I mean, we do have to deal with yeah. this and this, but oh my gosh. <sighs> Hello, darkness, my old friend. <laughs> I think I take an energy. I mean, double resource of whatever type isn't terrible. I feel like we're spinning our wheels here. Do you not feel the same? Uh, there's just a lot, of, dude. There's every modular thing that comes out is like, oh, why? Oh why can't we get an easy modular? Bomb scare, whatever else. I, oh, you got to meditate, right? Or maybe. Yeah. Do I? Do I do meditate? I mean, what do you? What do you have? Tooth wart. I don't think that matters, right? Medi meditate in Avengers Tower to put out Falcon. Well, you're gonna put Avengers Tower in, right? Yeah, meditate, energy to put Avengers Tower in, reduce by one, meditate yeah, to put Falcon in. I think that's right. Because Falcon thwarts, right? But it's, an, yeah. it's a remove one threat from a scheme, so you could actually remove from this if you wanted um, above and beyond, which I think might be the right call. Even if it's like just one or whatever. You're also trying to get Sorcerer Supreme in, I assume, this turn. Alright, we'll do your stuff. Okay. Cause I'm taking whatever you don't need. Uh, cause yep. I'm taking. <laughs> Which might be uh, nothing. If I put Kalu in, I could try to search for an event. I don't know how helpful that I is. I mean, plus he schemes for two and attacks for two, right? So like it's not the worst thing in the yeah. world. Like, if you have to use all your stuff, use all your stuff. But I'm saying... I can hold... I can okay. give you mansion. So you're giving me mansion now? All right. I took your mansion, by the way. Ooh! Hoo, 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 hoo. That's not the worst thing in the world. I could have drawn. It's pretty freaking fantastic, in fact. <sighs> All right, so I'm sorry. I need to follow what you're doing. What are you doing? Uh, this is Kalu. I get a pick and a mat. Do I just take Hexvolt? Or oh no, you can't meditate again. Yeah. So, I mean, rapid response would be freaking great, you know but you're not going to be able to pay for it, right? Well, it's also not in the Yeah. And I pay two to put this in. I meditate. And yourself. Put him in. Let's take top three. Nope. Nope. Come on. Nothing. Really? Okay. Wow. I guess I just hold these. Or I could ditch Sources of Premium and play Hexball. Wait, how does that work? Oh, uh, because I you've got... Definitely. I mean, you just decked. That's your call, man. Well, do some stuff with these guys. Or at least two of them. Okay, so... What's the deal with Proxima? Anything there? I mean, I don't care about mine because I'm going to flip down. So I can kill Proxima. I think. Well, yeah, because Bug will have an energy spear. And I got into the fray, too. So, yes. For sure can kill Proxima. An interfray gets around Crisis. Is that true? It's not a thwart. So, yeah. Wait, what does it say? What does Crisis okay. say? Uh, I have to look that up. Well, it's not going to be this book. It's going to be this book, right? Probably make this bigger than two centimeters. What would it be under? Crisis or... Um, That'd be under crisis.
Price is icon. Threat cannot be revoked. Well, all right. So there's that. Okay. So in that case, we have to drop this, right? Yes. All right. So that's five at least. Okay. I feel like I got a hex bolt, man. Well, if I end the fray, you can't you can't remove any threat. Oh, you're right. You gotta make the hard choices. All right, so you're I hex guess. bolting. One. Let's remove two. Um, well, two more. That's it. Um. Uh, oh my god, you uh, just got rid of Shadows of the Past. You do realize that would have been a card we would have drawn. Do I just give myself tough? Do I give him confuse? Can you get rid of Hood's Man? I can, if that's all what I focus on. Oh wait, no, I can't. Scarlet's Witch's Crest is already done. So do I draw another card? Or do I, I... I probably just... Literally anything besides Correct. card draw is better, right? And it's still card draw. It's fine. Uh, I, you know, I sacrifice... Well, hold on. Supreme for... Oh, and you're not Quicksilvering, I assume? Our rapid response. All right. Um, so I can into the fray now. All right. I feel like the first obvious call yes. is putting this on here. Actually, can I get rid of this? So I need one of every. So I can't do all that I'm thinking of and get rid of that is the problem. Well, I'm not going to flip down. It's fine. It's just stunned. It, you can flip down. It's fine. Well, I don't know. Well, I was going to end the fray. I was going to first hit him, hit Proxima, hit her for four, and then overkill for, for five with into the fray. Yeah, I feel like you have to flip down because you're not killing black Black dwarf. Right, but I can't do that and, and get rid four. of Hood and Mantle is the problem. It's fine. It's just a stun. I mean, eventually that stun will go off, right? Whenever we get rid of this. Yes, eventually the stun will go off. I mean, the question is, do I Marvel Boy or Crew Quarters? I, I, I Crew Quarters, because it's free. I think you Symbiotic Bond. I think you, I think you Symbiotic I Crew Quarters, because it's free. Because I'm going to heal when I flip down. Yes. Okay, and then I end of the yes. fray... For one, two, three, two. Well, oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Well, after, after I don't end the fray after yet. Bug. Yes, that is stupid. Okay, so bug attacks takes one damage for one, two, three, four. So that's four over here. I don't know what just happened. I just drew her for no reason. All right, so that's four. And then I into the fray. One, two, three, two into the fray, which does six, which is one and five overkill. But the overkill doesn't actually overkill. Just removes five threat. Holy moly. Oh! Uh, do I remove two more threat to be super safe, or do I start working on Black Dwarf here? I think I removed two, right? I don't know. I mean, it's just yeah. a, it's a safe call. It's a smart call. If I'm flipping down, which I am, crew quarters to heal me one. Where's that project? Is reader? it in my discard? If it's in my draw deck, I mean, I so. unfortunately, I won't get it. No, it's in your Is discard. Is it in my discard? Yeah. I mean, but I still feel yeah. like it was the right call. I needed those pistols. I mean, the one extra. 
I, I don't know. I feel like Spider Sense might have been the right call. Because I haven't actually. I haven't gotten it for yet. How many, for, for how often I've chumped for you. I haven't gotten. How yeah, often yeah, I've chumped yeah. for you. I think it maybe could have. Maybe You're should probably have been. right. But, but oh well. So drawing six. Fine. Reading. Ooh, warp reality. All right. I got two behind enemy lines and a savage attack. So it's it should be a good turn for me. And a running gun. Oh, didn't even see that one. Which is maybe the most important thing of all. Okay. So, first thing we're going to do is add four. Then, we are going to have them attack you. Chop. Even with the one attack? Just one. I just feel like I never know. Yeah. You know? Well, I mean, you have a lot of control over it. Although, we want to control this. It's still, it's still super RNG, yeah. right? We want to control this better. I, I feel like I All want right, to so do it. So, you're starting for yeah. two plus one. So, three total. Are you going to crown it? So, two. Yeah. Oops. And then. I like, and sometimes I'm like sad to use the crown. Do you think I should use it? If I have a hex bolt in my hand? Well, it's not a hex bolt that we'd worry about. We want to do uh, the one. Where's your damage one? Molecular decay? Yeah. I mean, at some point, we're going to need to molecular decay, right? Like, that's going to be the right call at some point. I just wonder, like, for one threat, should I hold crest to be able to control hex bolt better? That's this your turn? call. I think that's okay. probably the so right I had call, one right? threat. Okay. Right. Um, and I already had the one from Black Dwarf. Okay. So, go ahead and draw a card. I mean, it's only one card each. What could happen? Stupid. You get a pistol. Oh, wait, wait, wait. wait. Do you want me to warp this reality? I mean, I feel like it's the same cost to just get rid of it, right? I mean, you could literally get rid of Panther and Warp Reality to get rid of it. You know, you know what I mean. I feel, I feel like that's a bad trade-off. Yeah. yeah. Attached to a minion with the most remaining hit points. So this is just damage. Just yeah, damage. we don't care about that at all. Um, because if we don't kill this nine health dude, he's gonna rip my world apart anyway. The problem is getting rid of this. Right, first player. Oh, after the hood activates against you, resolve their foul play ability. By the way, I should have done that. All right. So this is coming out as well. Cool. Uh, I think I flipped down. Right. Sure. Exhaust. Okay. So that's gone. Fine. That's part of mine. Oh man. So I'm first player. We already did that. Yeah. Okay. So do I get no, rid of this? Player. It puts two uh, threat on the main scheme, and I have to exhaust, which is either three less healing or three less. Um... Do you do what? I think you have to get rid of this. You can't take cards every Okay, time. but that gets rid of three threat removal and that adds two threats to the main. Just pointing all that out. Yeah. All right, I'm going to crew quarters to you. Oh, you're face down. Okay, that's good. Oh, I got my own crew quarters. And you're going to crew quarters yourself. Okay. So Savage Attack attacks for five, which is actually better than I attack myself. The only thing is, if I attack myself, I can get Bug healed, and so he can attack. So I feel like Running Gun's probably the right call, right? Do you do anything for me? Mansion, I mean, I can use whatever, because I'm trying to get rid of this stuff too, right? I feel like Pistol's way more important to get rid of. Take the mansion. I mean, I don't know if I'm gonna need it though. That's a problem. So let's 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 just figure it okay. out. Okay. 
Um, you so I got to flip right? up. There's What's nothing. I mean, literally, unless I took Mansion to get the thing that heals me for three, but not. No, no that's oh, what yeah. this part. All right. So the question is, all right, we're talking three, four damage here, plus two more. So how much life does this guy have? He has uh So nine. if he has nine, I have no way to get to nine because I do four myself. And he does four. Oh, I do have a five. I have Savage Attack in my hand. I mean, if you run and gun, Bug can attack too, right? But I can do both, theoretically. If I do well, both, okay, though, so I'm not I getting rid of this. With... That's the problem. Well, can you get rid of the pistol? The pistol's more important this turn. I can't get rid of the... I just... I don't really want to burn warp reality is the problem, right? Yeah, warp Oh, this, you so, oh, that's your only way to get a fist. So what would I need a fist? So yeah, I would need some help from you. Take it. Take the mansion. Is the mansion the one you want to give me? Okay. I mean, sure. Oh, it's a double resource, which is both good and terrible all at the same time. Um well, it makes like... Okay, well, we're certainly savage attacking it makes... now. So that's five over here. Now, he doesn't have retaliate or anything, does he? No. Okay. He, just is, he is super overkill. So I need to do, what, four more damage here? So I'm going to remove two threat from the scheme. I mean, do you, how much what was do you that? need to do here? Four. Four. So Bug can do that if I attack the boss or vice versa. How much health does he have? He has nine health. He has nine. Quicksilver can just kill him. Quicksilver will kill him this turn. All, all nine health. Well, no, nine. I already put five on him. Okay. Well, if that changes anything, I have rapid response. So Quicksilver can do I'd rather straight up. I mean, so maybe we worry about the mantle more, right? Okay. Can you do it? I don't know. Well, let's do this. I'm going to pay for run and gun. I guess you have that, right? In theory, to get so rid I'm of getting rid of run and gun. Or I'm going to do run and gun to ready these two things. Because I've got to attack. So why don't I do the attack? Because that way bug heals. Right? And all this is gone. Um, and then and then do you burn mantle. Well, hold on, I'm gonna do two to here. Um, you have the resources for mantle. Oh, I have it without even hurting myself, huh? Or I could hurt myself yeah. and keep power of aggression. Which no, I feel like you just take the mantle, right? At five health. Alright, so all three to get rid of mantle. And that actually lets us attack, which bug will do for four. Yeah. yeah. And now he's stunned. Oh, that's real good. I mean if you can get rid of the pistol too. I mean, you can do it, but only if you get rid of warp reality. I feel like it's better to hold. Well, warp, right? maybe you I get, you maybe you draw this with hexbolt. Also, I mean, that's yeah. the hope at this uh, point, right? right? Yeah. So I'm gonna drop. Well, I think I flip up first. Oh my gosh, we've had chat. I missed some stuff. So uh, Steven Johnson said, why did you shuffle the encounter deck? Oh, when we looked at the top cards of the encounter deck? Yeah, uh, from Falcon. I think it's been a rule change. Yeah, so when you look at the top three cards, from our understanding, you have to, at that point, shuffle. Uh, Someone should double check that, but I think well, it's here, It's here. So what does it look? Or what's the word? 
I'm pretty sure when you look, because that's what made, um, what's his name, way worse. Hawkeye way worse. Because he used... Yeah, the ability is much better to look at cards that are otherwise can the only players... However, that person no. Uh, look, looked at. If an ability instructs a player to look at cards that are otherwise hidden from the players, only the player who is resolving the ability can look at those cards. However, that player immediately yeah. So that doesn't help. So maybe we're wrong. Maybe you do just look. Oh, I he said I played run and gun and used it as a resource. That might have been a couple of turns ago, because this turn I just savage attacked, and I played one, two, three to run and gun. So this turn. So did you not have enough to do mantle? Oh, I didn't. Oh. Yeah. How did I get rid of mantle this turn? You played these three. Did I not run and gun this turn? I did though. Wait, I had six because I was face down, right? So I didn't savage attack. Oh no, I yeah. did savage attack though. Did I? Do... You, yeah, I told you not to savage attack, uh, but you did. So savage I savage attack for that. So then I couldn't get rid of mantle because I did run and gun. So they're right on that because I paid these three to run and gun. So I could not have gotten rid of mantle. So wait, so Bug could not have attacked then. So instead of Bug attacking for four. I wonder if you should just not have Savage attack. Because we didn't need it. How are we getting rid of, what's his name then? I mean, Quicksilver can solo kill him for nine. I mean, these are the cards you had, right? Yes. And savage I attack? think search always shuffles. Look does not, says Bahamut, by the way. Okay. I can, I can believe that. I mean, that would be awesome. Because, wait, doesn't that change Hawkeye, though? Because Hawkeye looks, right? Looks. Yeah, I mean, we'd have to look that up. If anybody wants to go to Hall of Heroes uh, to check that out. Okay, so this was my hand. But I had, I had a so full health this. this dude. Who had seven light or nine life in front of me. So if you don't savage attack, you get this back in your hand, which would allow so you. So this is to... where we were at the beginning of the turn. He had fifteen health. This was way higher though. We, yeah. I mean, I don't know if we can figure out what that was. Uh, all you did was uh, twice. Gun, twice, right? Eleven seems right. Okay, but. I was exhausted. The uh, guns you, you were didn't not. Or anything else? Yeah. So I'm okay. So if you don't savage attack, right? Uh, Why did I spend... exhaust? Why was I exhausted? I definitely was. Oh, there was a card that exhausted. Uh, because me. Of... Okay. Yeah, that's good. Uh, so you can spend this for run and gun. Yes. I mean, why would I spend a double resource? Oh, you're saying to do run and gun? Because costs. I got it. Yes, and then these these are three different resources to get rid of mantle. Okay. All right. So I thwart for two. He's ready. Then I run and gun. So I paid three for that. So that readies me yeah. and my multi gun. I thwart for two again. And then you get rid of mantle. And then I get rid of mantle with these three. And then I'm gonna attack for go four down, right? on him, right? No, I don't need it. Quicksilver will attack for three. Ah, uh, because he's exactly nine. And right. For another six. Okay, so I'm yes. gonna attack and attack. So that's four from me with my two pistols, and four from Bug. So that's eight on the boss. Yeah. So he's down to seven. And then I would have gotten rid of the mantle also. Thank you so much for keeping us uh, for keeping us honest here. Okay. Okay. 
So this is still in play. Uh, I'm hex bowling. He said I had two double resources, which which is right. I do remember. Oh, because you gave me a draw. So actually, wait a minute. That's how I paid for everything before. I did have two double resources. So I think we were actually right in the first place because you gave me card draw. I had an extra double resource in there. Hold on. I mean, you can just hold it till next turn if you want. But I did have an extra double resource, right? I had genius. So actually, I could have paid played for... I think you still... I still think you use run and gun twice, though. I think you're one short. I got it. All right. So I have a double resource in my hand. Hold then. it there. Because I did... Because you gave me mansion. That's right. You're right. Mentioned. I did have another double resource. So good calls. Thank you, everybody, for keeping us straight over here. So, uh, all right. Still played run and gun and heal bug. Just get rid of mantle. You had two double resources. The double mental was in your hand. Yes. Good call. Uh, Hawkeye's quiver all is right. a search. Oh, that's the difference. Yeah, oh, okay. So. So, oh, so right. when you look, you actually get to keep the order of things. Well, thanks for keeping us straight. So uh, Bahamut says, from the search entry, if any portion of the deck is searched upon completion, the game setup, game function, or card ability, shuffle the entire deck. Okay, so look doesn't do that. So actually, that's all good for us to know. Thank you so much. All right, so he's got this still. What is this card? Uh, hex. Hex bolt. Okay. okay. Remove two threat off main. I assume we're yep. okay with that. Uh, so let's draw a card. Do I want that card drawn? Do I take the status effect? The other option is to draw a card and hope for a fist so you can keep warp reality, right? And get rid of this. Now, I don't know what percentage of your deck is fist is the problem. I don't think very high. Giving me tough basically prevents both of his attacks. Could confuse him for the future. I mean, confusing's good. What are you doing? Confuse. Okay. Yes. Not a fist. I think it's very high. Um, I think I still wrap a response. Yes. All right. So let's do three, nine. six, nine, so that's three attacks with Quicksilver total. Uh, do I thwart down to two? I mean, why not? Right. We're getting four a turn. I <laughs> mean, it's. Um. Then now the, well, then here's the action. negative. Give someone talk. Because he's stunned, he's going to only attack you, and I feel like I want to block for you, but I can't because i got to heal Bug. So, yeah. So, you're, you're right. I probably should have gotten rid of Spider right. Sense. It's not really... Alright, I'm going to give um, Quicksilver Tough. And then I'll probably just hold Power Man. So you're not getting rid of the pistol. No. Really want me no, to. we can do it next turn. I just feel like if he's not really doing I mean, I could have gotten rid not. of it theoretically by taking a damage and getting rid of a double resource. But I just feel like that's probably the dumbest thing I've heard all week. So, I'm not going to do that. Ooh, I do have Grasping Tendrils. So maybe I do chump for you. Not defend for defend. you that you don't have to you don't have to oh, oh no. so when he initiate wouldn't an initiate attack, an attack he's, not yeah, he's never gonna do that i mean i'm looking for trouble that seems good okay. <laughs> uh yeah okay turn let's go up to five so it's four on the main i think it's, it's time. time to beat him down uh so he's stunned he will not attack me and then are you chumping yeah. something? 
White silver is blocking the top. Okay. So nothing. And then yep. he readies. All right. Did I take a card? Oh man. All right. So my card, choose one set aside and modular encounter set at random, then shuffle it into your encounter deck, resolve hoods, foul play ability. Do you want that to happen? I do not. Do well, to so we got, I feel like most of the toughest ones, although I feel like the next one we get is going to be like the Ronin one, Just right? Cree fanatic. Cree fanatic. <laughs> like. It's, it's your call, man. I mean, here's the negative is we'd have to play. Um, I feel like this is almost the worst thing we can get right now. Almost. Not the worst, but almost. What do you think? Uh, I feel like it's just you don't know. You're just like, how lucky do you feel, punk? Kind of. You want me to draw it first? Like that. <laughs> and then we decide. No, we, we, we can do it. Cancel it? Alright, I'm going to draw it just for fun to see what we would have added. Uh, seven Sinister Syndicate. So, Sinister Syndicate. Is what we would have drawn, but it's random every time. So, uh, I'm gonna. Is he scheming right now? I'm going to replace this card. <laughs> I mean, I feel like we're not okay, okay, but we're kind of okay. All right. So four. So it's up to nine. Oh no, ten. Why ten? 10. Oh yeah. Good call. All right. So your first player. All right, let's do this, Terrence. What do you What do you need? You don't need I mean, money. I do have You're plenty of money, but yeah, I mean, I almost don't need anything. I mean, a card would help because there probably has got to be something better than this. <laughs> All right, I'm hex calling to start. One. Do I? That's two threat. I mean, two threats, good, right? Do I just stun him? Then he'd attack me, which would be good, and I can grasp the tendrils him and spider sense. Okay. Uh, zero. Two damage. Take it, right? Now, are you going to get rid of this or flip down? don't have a fist okay so i can get rid of that with looking okay. for trouble and i'll just take a damage i think because i think i want to put drax out uh i think i'm gonna four for two seven of six i don't need to flip down i mean i guess we just sit with that confused till we get an advance or i mean i would like to flip down at some point but not this turn if he's going to attack me and I've got grasping tendrils and a double resource in my hand. I feel like do you do you I want the do mansion? Want the mansion. No? Cuz if I get the mansion, I can do um I can keep grasping tendrils and a double resource and play Drax and get rid of the pistol, which I feel is like a lot of good okay. stuff. Sure. Okay, so I get mansion. Okay. Yeah. I don't need that. Right. Are you going to hold on to your stuff? Or... Well, you can... Yeah. Okay. So, sorry for being selfish, but I think it's the right call here. So, we're flipping him. We know that, right? Are we okay with that? Hopefully. I mean, it depends how much foul play you like. All right. One, two... Three puts Drax into play. So Drax attacks for four, right? Yeah. So three, or that's four. And get rid of the last. So let's get rid of that and choose one set aside modular. I mean, we're supposed to choose, I guess, but we're just taking a random one. Armies of Titan. What's that? No, it says choose one. Oh, oh. what's Armies of Titan? There's more Black Order stuff. That's just more Thanos. Yeah. But these are like wimpy minions. What is that? Those are like wimpy minions. I mean, 
and when we get to choose a black order having those in there i feel like helps us right yeah all right so we did that so we don't do file play that's it okay so that's not bad okay so then i'm gonna do this for the fist and i'm gonna take a damage and get rid of this garbage so all his pistols are in the discard now. Wait, why did you need this double resource? Because I'm going to hold these two cards. Don't you want this? Because this pays for this. Oh, did I discard the wrong one? Sorry. Yes. I'm just like, why do you want the genius? It doesn't sorry, work with sorry, anything. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I did it the wrong way. But you know what I meant. So bottom line is I'm holding these two. All right. Let's see. But cards, I've still fine. got all this to do. So what's his health? Yeah. His health is 36. So again, I click over here. I go 36. By the way, I could type teeth. <laughs> that's the wrong spelling of teeth, but that's okay. All right. So he's 36 right now. I'm going to attack for four. Where's that combat training? I know, right? Uh, then Bug is fully healed by that, but Bug is then going to also attack for four. Nice. I mean, happening? something is happening. I don't know if it's it, but something is happening, Terrence. And I've got tendrils now, and he's going to attack me, and I feel like all of that is all good. Uh, so Do you're it. done. I'm done. Are you literally holding Hexbolt though? Yeah. You're like, yes. Yeah. You not love Hexbolt? I mean, I think I your Hexbolt. other damage card is better, but sure. I, I don't have it. Oh, I got Gamora, Combat Training, Hand Cannon. What do you want? I want to, I want Grasping Tendrils. I mean, I'm going to Grasping Tendrils in two seconds. All right. So they get four. Which isn't great, let's be honest. But he's confused, so I feel like we're all right. So he tries to attack you, but is stunned. He tries to attack me, but I grasp being tendrils. You get take your card oh. first. Take your card. Yeah, doesn't matter. I don't care. Oh, savage attack. I do care. Uh, so I'm gonna grasp being tendrils and stun him again. Right. Okay. Yeah. So that's all done. All right. take my card. Then we take our cards. Go ahead, you first. Me. Uh, I've got bug, so we're okay. Oh, look at this. One reveal. Discard a card at random from your hand. Oh, this is a good hand to be discarding random crap from. They're... Hey, remember you asked about combat training? <laughs> Guess what? Yeah. No combat training for you. One year. Okay, so that's it. I mean, I feel like this is the best spot we've been in for days. So, I think... I mean, Except turn well, one. maybe. All right, so Gamora, I don't really care about. I think I hand cannon, right? Sure. What are you doing? Just All right, so I'm attacking for one does. two, three, four, five, six. Wait, can you? Yeah. I'm just yeah. overkilling yeah. for six. So four. I guess I didn't really need to do that. I had my multi-gun. Yeah, of course I am. Well, I had to heal Bug first. Don't forget. So Bug yeah. was now healed. Now Bug kills it. Because Bug does four. He has three. I don't have overkill on Bug, right? Just piercing. Okay, so now Drax is clearly going to attack for four. Because why wouldn't Drax attack for four? Yeah. And I got a multi-gun. Do you want me to remove threat i feel like that's a bigger worry right now sure Unless, i mean do you think yeah, you can kill him can so. you do 18 damage quicksilver can do nine shock does three that's 12 power man does another five. Oh yeah so you can do it all right so i'm attacking for two with multi-gun wait then why it? did i kill him hold on never mind I don't overkill this dude. 
Because he doesn't do anything, right? I do two more. There. He's down to 16. This jobber is just here. Right. <laughs> uh, I do this. Take the card. Uh, do that. Do. do I draw a card? That's your call, man. Sure. I mean, I think it's over, right? Three. Do you want to be tough? I mean, it doesn't matter. Sure. Do you want to yes. be stunned? Stun me. <laughs> man, just so much card draw. All right, uh, let's put this out. He hits for five. What? Oh, yeah. Power Man hits for five. All right. Falcon hits for so three. I got the five. I got the three. And then three. Uh, another oh, three. Oh, no, you don't want Falcon to die first. Oh. Because then Falcon comes back. Why? No, it's your response. I oh, okay. not to trigger. So then you do three with Quicksilver. Uh, and another. And, another and then three. he comes back, does another three, and another three. six. Another three. And actually, Scarlet. Oh, could not have killed me. Could not have killed One. himself. All right. No. Herself. So even if I had killed this. So there you go. I did kill this. Fine. You still would have done it. I uh, found it. I what, found it, dude. What'd you find? <laughs> okay. Dude, that card we had not seen literally the entire game. Like, it turns out you don't need it. I mean, uh, you could say that, but uh, I don't believe you, Terrence. I mean, I feel like I feel like Quicksilver was MVP in my deck. How many times did I, did I... Like, I feel like I put him out, and the time that we chose not to kill him off, he had not left the game. I mean... Well, he left the game. No, no, no. Yeah, you definitely... Right? Look. Definitely worked out. All right, so let's go to our post-stream uh, discussion. We'll try to make it quick, although we're doing a set review. So how do we do this quickly? Um, uh, you can break it into two. All right. So first fun. of all, let's just talk about this. Freaking awesome, right? Like um, Hood is the challenge you're looking for. I'm glad we decided not to run back those first decks. I don't think they would have won this. Um, so let's talk about this set. Let's look at the heroes first. From... Uh, so it started strong. First two, oh. Adam Warlock, Spectrum, felt like we're freaking great. War Machine, pretty freaking great. Nebula, I don't remember Nebula. What does she got? What was her thing? Oh, those techniques. She's the one with all the... She's all the fun to play, but she's challenging. Uh, with. I think she's better. Yeah, I can see that. What was... Oh, Vision's got the two forms. He's challenging also. I feel like these heroes, especially Valkyrie, Vision, and Nebula, I feel like are challenging to play. I, I feel like War Machine... I feel like they hard. messed up War Machine. Uh, I feel like that one card... Did you just did you just say he was pretty he, great? No, he... Between uh, Munitions Bunker and that hand cannon thing that just shoots over and over... Whatever that was, this one. I mean, I feel like he could do like a hundred damage on a turn. There's there's a big difference between a shoulder cannon and a yes, hand cannon. You're correct. Uh the problem is just like if you're gonna go aggression, you need to flip down. No, no, I feel like you go justice and thwart with him and go down every other turn, so you boost up this munitions bunker until it's got like 10 counters on it or more and then you got 10 plus your 5 that's 15 damage minimum with shoulder cannon right and that so every time you flip down you get 4 counters on munitions bunker does that make sense? to the turn you flip down and then to the following turn so I feel like it's pretty easy to get to, I mean, eight would only be two flip downs and 12 would be three. And then you're talking 12 extra damage. That's assuming you don't use those counters for something else. 12 plus the five you get for flipping up, that's 17 damage. 
Yeah, I mean, part of the thing is like all these things which have like one, they're one ofs, and you have to draw them. Sure. Uh, and, and two, like his. Well, but how long does it take to get this? Like, who cares? Uh, I mean, I mean, watching you. The, the well, sure, but I'm back. saying if you get munitions bunker early, that's the important thing. The cannon you don't need until later in the game, right? Until you get whatever. I mean, I mean, I actually prefer a cannon first. Well, sure, because then you can do the five damage over and over and over uh, every time he flips up. Well, I mean, I, I, I generally don't burn my ammo on cannon. I usually use it for the other stuff, like his events and other things. See, here's the thing. It doesn't exhaust. I mean, it does, but then you remove the counter to ready it. Like, that's the thing about it. Right, but, like, I mean, you, are you not playing your events? Like, I feel like his events are way more impactful. Like, this is one of my favorite cards in his deck. One ammo for four damage. Well, sure, like but I'm just saying you can do this. I mean, that's what I'm saying. That's. I, I feel like as great as this is, this is just, like, it's what you use for X. Of course, not like but I'm just saying every time you flip up, up, that's why he wants to flip down every other turn, right? Because he wants to do five damage, then flip down. Or more, right? If he uses his other upgrades. So he wants to flip up, do five damage or whatever, and then flip down the following turn. And that way, when he flips back up again, he's doing five again. That's what I'm saying. He's perfect justice. Get rid of threat and and confuse. And he becomes ridiculous. You know what I mean? Yeah, I, I just he's just slow, man. He's a little slow. Like, like, it actually takes a lot... It actually takes a long time to pull out his upgrades. They're not cheap. Uh, like, you could go Justice, but, like, Confusing's expensive in Justice without Guardian. So, like, you either play Sonic Rifles, which costs three, or you play Concussive Blow, which costs three. Well, clearly and Sonic so, Rifles the right call there because you can uh, confuse twice. Right, but, like, if, if, if you're spending three, that's, like, your hand, which means you're not, like, putting armors and other stuff out. Like, it it is a very that's true. slow build. That's true. Uh, and I feel like... I feel like it any any anything that requires tempo like this ain't that just well, sure. ain't it, right? Well, I mean you need a resource and, build really. Right. And basically anything that I like I felt like I found more success with my leadership build just cuz being able to pull out stuff pull out stuff faster uh was more but That's just once, right? In my solo games. That's literally once. When you pull him out. Yeah, but like leadership allows okay. you to for him or rapper response to him, right? Like the thing with leadership is you get to abuse any ally that has good effects because if he goes in your discard, you can play him again. If he, you can rapper response to him, you can regroup him. Like there's just so many ways to like regroup sure. cards in leadership for allies. Yeah, I mean that's, but leadership's just got so many other good cards. Like I feel like Iron Man is not, the ally that I mean, yes, you can build around him, but I don't know. I feel like he's not the one you want to build around. I mean, it, it's the cornerstone of the deck is your tech upgrades. I mean, the tech upgrades are the deck. It's like Iron Man, right? Like an Iron Man deck. Like you want your tech upgrades. I mean, you certainly want the resource want. ones, obviously, and you certainly want this cannon. I feel like this is barely better than your cannon. I mean, only better really against uh, stuff with retaliate. I mean, the one extra damage I could care less about. I mean, don't get me wrong in the long run, but you can only use it once a turn for one extra damage. Once a turn, it only costs one though, so that's like the other thing. Yeah, but I mean, seriously, you'd still rather have a shoulder cannon. Look, if you get it out early and you don't have the shoulder cannon, fine, but I feel like it's almost a wasted upgrade. And I mean, Sure, you get it out of your deck, right? Of course. And look, one extra damage every turn is not the worst thing in the world. But I'm just saying, it's not It's not an essential upgrade. If I had to use it as a resource, I wouldn't cry. Um, assuming I had my shoulder cannon out. That's a big assumption. Well, if I had to use it to pay for shoulder cannon, I would. How about that? How about that for a hot take? Sure. Um, all right, so overall, so the, the, the set itself, I guess we should also talk about um, the Thanos. Honestly, Thanos might replace Red Skull for my um, 
for my starter box now. I, I don't know. I I would not agree with that. Uh, not Thanos. Uh, right, uh, Red Skull. I mean, because I, I because wouldn't agree I, with that. I I think it. I think it's still a harder set. I think if you're coming off of core, it's still a harder set to play. Uh, the the scenarios are definitely they're longer, longer but like, I, think I feel Loki like they're also more is interesting. But is that what you're looking for after the core? Like. You have a core, you have three scenarios, and all you've played are the first three. Like, I still feel like Rise is what I would recommend. I think it's close for me. Let's put it that way. I, I mean, I think they are definitely the first two. Uh, I, I feel I, like I the heroes are better. for me. Like, Thanos is, Thanos is way harder than anything in Rise of Red Skull. Well, and it's more confusing, right? So, I mean, I guess it is a next level thing, but I think the heroes are better, and I think the cards are probably better. I don't remember what cards come with the set, um, but you get more diversity for sure because Warlock plays all the different aspects. As much as I like Hawkeye, yeah, but like he's, I, I feel like the, I feel like the problem with the heroes though is they're they can be questionably consistent. I mean, Spectrum's yes, she's pretty random. Because if she's not drawing her stuff that lets her... So is, so is Adam Warlock with one copy of the card. But I think it's fun to build. Like, I think people like... like um, I think people like, you know, Commander format for Magic the Gathering. Like, I feel like there's a little bit of that. Sure. I, I, I just like, if you, if you look at the box as a whole, and you're looking as a person coming off the core set, Hawkeye is actually, like, he's not the strongest hero, but he makes sense. He's fun to play. Surprisingly, oh yeah, I love right? Hawkeye. Uh, you know, like like if you're talking about like a like like I think both Adam Warlock and Spectrum are harder to play. I, I agree. And I, I do want to harder. I just feel like the scenarios are more varied than they are in Red Skull. Uh, like, and I almost view like uh, what's his name is a, a throwaway mission. Uh, uh, absorbing man. I feel like it's a throwaway mission. You're not playing that as a one-off most times. Like, it's fine in the campaign. It does what it does for the campaign. But I don't think you're playing that as a one-off. Yeah, I mean, I I guess for me, like, I actually think Red Skull is the better scenario versus Loki. Yeah, I mean, and you don't have a lot of card pool. So I, I do think you might get frustrated with Thanos, Loki, Hela. Loki's just a slog for me, in my opinion. Uh, and Red Skull was actually pretty interesting with the side schemes. Yeah. Um. So do we want to... But this is about reviewing Mad Titans, right? Well, the whole cycle. cycle. Right, right. And, and I mean, we kind of did. We started talking about the heroes that come with it. I mean, honestly, so... Let's look at heroes for the different cycles. So you got core, right? Which is all these up top here. Then you got red skull, which are these heroes here. Well, I, I would consider this still, I would consider this a cycle. Okay. You want to call this not. cycle I think zero? I, 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 I think, I think this is like cycle one, right? Of well, that's core though, right? Of at least heroes. So what would if you were to take one cycle of heroes, including zero, or or one or whatever you want to call it, the the core set plus you know cap and all right, well let's call this like yeah. negative one for core set heroes. Those are the five from the core set. Sure. Zero would be the first heroes released before the first core set, and then starting with Red Skull and after after the first core which. Set set of heroes would you take if you had to take one of these rows here which set would you take and by the way chat please chime in on what you think is your favorite set of let's just go with the heroes for now uh i mean that's obviously that's a tough question uh i still think i still think the core sets like some of the best so the original five and just well-rounded yeah i think the original five is just like they're all pretty good and interesting and different. Yeah. Um, and still super strong, right? Potentially. Like, 
She's still fun and interesting to me. I actually kind of want to go back to her again. Uh, I have a lot of play yeah. with her, I think. Uh, uh, you know, you got Iron Man. I think he's he's developed well with the tech stuff, too, over time. Spider-Man, obviously, as well. Uh, I mean, Flow Like Water and, and any of the other stuff that's coming in Sinister Motives. Like, I think protection has developed super well. Um, but, yeah, I mean, I, I think just they're so... They have, I think, just... They're just so versatile. Yeah, I mean, set insane. zero here is pretty hard too to to give up. You got Cap, who's ridiculous. You got Miss Marvel, who's a lot of people's favorite. Thor, who's just developed into a monster yeah. now. Just like the original event, the original event heroes. Yeah, Ms. Marvel. I mean, sure. I don't know that anybody matches her to this day with events. Uh, Black Widow, who's got some interesting stuff. I mean, Strange again, one of the most interesting. And, and powerful heroes in the game. And then, of course, Hulk, which you would just throw away. Uh, <laughs> or it's just take... I, 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 I think Amora puts Miss Marvel up for her money, depending on how fast you need to start. Like, Miss Marvel's definitely on the slow For run. me, though, I, I'm taking Galaxies. Um, I mean, I, I mean I come on. It's got that. frickin' Venom, which you guys just saw, which is amazing. Um... Uh, Star Lord, another one of my favorite heroes, just for his risk reward. I still think Groot is very, very interesting with his Groot counters. Um, I mean, Rocket, nothing wrong with Rocket. Drax is very interesting with his, you know, taking damage to get more and more powerful. How much do you huh? play Drax? Zero. How much do you I play, play him? Drax? Zero. But it's it's not that he's not interesting. I just don't. He's not. I would play him. How about that? I, I would certainly play him protection. Um, I don't know that he's great in every aspect, but I think he's really fun to play in protection. Um, Groot, I'd probably... I, I, I think he is... I think he definitely has not aged super well. I think him and Groot are the weakest. Out but of they're the still bunch. fun, right? Nobody's matched Groot with what he wants to do. Uh, I guess War Machine's coming close because of what we just talked about, wanting to flip down and, and get all those things. Groot wants to flip down and get his counters, right? Um, but and go- Yeah, I think, I think potentially that's also just how you play them. Maybe, but I would think if you look for a consensus, I, what's the best way to play Groot? I think that's probably it. He wants those counters. I think he does, but he's also the only one, I think, that... Uh, plays protection in a very specific way i mean yes because he can, he can prevent, prevent all, all the damage. damage but gosh i mean you want to play protection look at venom venom's base four once he gets his pistols it's pretty darn good and he doesn't have to use both pistols that's the thing he decides now does he have to decide beforehand i think he does all right yes, so that that takes it that knocks it down a little bit but um Uh, I think Groot is probably better in protection if your job is defending. If you actually want to be defending across the problem the table, is protection doesn't want to flip down. One time. Protection doesn't want to go alter ego because you can't do your job of protecting if you're face down. And Groot wants those counters. Yeah, I mean, I, I well, I mean, I, I think you play protection Groot with like you don't want to take damage and you don't want to lose counters. And you still have three like, of those growth, growth cards, stuff yeah. that can be counters. Yeah, uh, and like if you actually do a good job, you can do it. But you know, obviously, that gets a little harder with some of the harder hitting enemies. But I definitely have seen stuff around, and I've played Gru. Uh, I just think there's a lot of. I think some of the heroes that don't get played a lot for us are heroes that don't do as well. In yeah, solo. we do. I mean, because um, we build most of our decks and play test them solo. So that's why it's hard when I play test the uh, deck for multiplayer. It's really hard for me to tell how good it is. Yeah, I, I have to. I, I I've started two handing some stuff some nights because just like you kind of have to sure. for certain heroes. Um, I, I think War Machine's in summer bucket for me, where it's just like I actually think one of his best aspects is aggression, and you have to be like I'm okay not really contributing a lot to boarding. Yeah, I think this newest set is one of the weakest. I'll be honest. And maybe uh, the weakest. If you look at it, again, front to back, like, which would you rather have less than that? I mean, they're all unique. I I, I still think this... 
I mean, I know you said Garden's your favorite, uh, but I think this is the most interesting set the newest they've one. come up with. Yeah. I mean, Adam Warlock is... The deck building around Adam Warlock is super interesting. Spectrum really like flip stuff on like what it means to I be think there I think there are a lot of I think you have to be really familiar with the card pool and really cuz I had trouble with Spectrum I, and with Vision. Like the form changes were almost too much for me. I, th- those are those were some of my favorite heroes this cycle for sure. Uh yeah, I mean spe- I I feel like you're right like but I think what was interesting to me about this cycle's deck build like solving the hero puzzle for each hero was not obvious like it was in other cycles right but i don't think that makes it the best i think it's still there's some of the weaker heroes that are out there like i would take i mean the only other one for me that and again wasteland sniper so mary out there who was uh, on the stream last week if you didn't see her she was freaking awesome she came up clutch for us last week this is one of the weaker sets for me also um, Scarlet Witch is obviously strong. Uh, Ant Man is pretty strong. Wasp. Wasp I mean, strong. I don't see Wasp played. I don't see Quicksilver played. Hawkeye again. Um, I mean, I, I feel like I think Wasp is super strong. Uh, she has a super strong stat line. Her girl ability is one of the best alter ego abilities in the game if you build around it with the uh, just shuffling mental stuff in. It makes multiple man super good. Uh, uh, among just there's tons of mental cards that are worth cycling. Um, so galaxies is the is the worst for you then you think? It I don't know if it's the worst. I I think it's like stronger on the power curve. Um, but it's tough. Like I, I feel like actually, I agree with you that this cycle is probably the weakest on the power curve. But I don't think that makes it like. No, 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 no. It's the most. It's one of the more interesting ones. I agree because even Valkyrie, who we all think, I don't think she gives Hulk a run for his money quite yet. But I think she is definitely one of the weaker heroes that have come out. um, Probably right behind Hulk. Uh, I think she's super interesting for sure. I just think she's interesting in a frustrating way because she can't do what it looks like she can do. (laughs) <laughs> it looks like she just wants to kill every yeah. minion on the board and then attack the the villain, but you just can't do that. You just it's so expensive to do that. Um is the problem. And she needs very specific build yeah. as well. Like she needs to get the cards to do stuff like the earlier she get she has like yeah. three cards she needs and like if she doesn't get those. I mean it's true with Drax, right? Uh, I don't remember. Drax starts building power pretty early. You, you need Dwee Tweet. Well, Dwee Tweet is ridiculous, yes. Drax I think if you don't have that, Drax kind of sucks. Yeah. I mean, again, I, I wasn't including Drax. I mean, really, for me, the main two are Venom and Star-Lord. I think Gamora is very fun and strong as well. And I don't love Rocket, even though I love him thematically. I don't love him to play. So, so your favorite your favorite set of heroes is one where you only like fifty percent of the heroes. Well, set. but I feel like that's more than most of the sets for me. I mean, I guess the core set I like every hero, one hundred percent. I mean, I like do you really I play like Panther? I like, like I know you have your no flip Panther deck, but beside that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I play Panther, just not on stream. I got gotcha. I mean, I play a lot of... I have, like, over 400 plays, so clearly I'm not well, restricted of course. to just play um, I think Captain uh, Marvel is super good, but, but, like, but I don't know that I find her interesting. She's just almost too good. She just draws so many cards. Uh, she took me to through Ronin, so I, I, have, to, I have to like that. Uh, yeah, I mean, even if I don't enjoy playing Panther as much, like, he is a oh, solid hero. Uh, uh, you know, like there's nothing wrong with. Yeah, Panther. I mean, I think on the power um, curve, if we go back to that, I think the newest set is probably the worst. Yeah. Um, but I, I think it has some of the most interesting heroes for me. Like, vision, vision's intangible thing is something that's never been done before, and that's really well, neat. yeah, where you have an uh, alter ego ability that's different. 
No, his uh, his um, intangible form. The fact that like he doesn't have to defend and he can't attack well, sure. either, but he reduces. Like not having to exhaust to defend is actually kind of crazy, um, because you're not right. defending, right? So there, there is more stuff. Um, uh, so Mary said she'd go with Red Skull, uh, Hawkeye, Ant Man, Quicksilver, and Scarlet Witch are all really fun heroes. She says I go with Galaxy's Most Wanted next, just because uh, Gamora and Venom are two of my favorite for true solo heroes. I also like Drax, Groot, and Rocket. So everybody but Star Lord, who I like Star Lord because I like how freaking ridiculously stupid he is. Uh, <laughs> And I mean, just paying three to get a card that may be terrible or maybe not that bad is, uh, I think he is definitely better at lower tiers, like against standard, obviously he'd be really good. Um, but just if you don't have such a bad modular or whatever else, I think star Lord's better because as the modulars get worse, as the encounter deck gets worse, he just gets worse. So would you play star Lord against hood? He'd be tough. I mean, to some degree, he benefits from Hood giving you extra cards and stuff, right? Um, yeah. I mean, I feel like you're just really stepping into this. Yeah, I mean, you, I mean, Star Lord, like that's his thing, though, right? Like he's definitely stepping into the muck. I think Star Lord. I think there's a lot of interesting builds with him, and I don't think they all require him to use his special abilities as much as we think they do. Um, I think he can do stuff. I mean, we've seen it with like Avengers where he turns them all into guardians. Uh, I think there's some pretty strong leadership decks around that. And then, you know, goes full throttle or whatever and then flips down and then they're no longer guardians. Um, so I, I do think there's some interesting stuff around him and he doesn't necessarily have to draw extra encounter cards to make it happen. Although certainly he's much better if he does. Um, so Bahamut says Spectrum is very strong. Vision will probably end up being super strong too. Um, yeah, I mean, Spectrum's good and Vision, I mean, the forms are fun. And now is the newest ruling that those form cards don't count against deck size? Are we back to that? Yeah, they don't. Right. So, or they do, they do count against the deck size. So, uh, so like Spectrum can build a 37. Is that, are we sure that that's true? That's what Caleb said. Okay. Cause Brant said in playtesting they didn't count against deck size, but I guess I'd trust the designer before. Uh, well, I mean, that's probably true during playtesting, but, uh, someone basically asked him that question. He was just like, well... Uh, I mean, he didn't have like a super solid answer, so it was kind of just interpreted that gotcha. way, I think. So, uh, uh, you can check the exact quote on Hall here, gotcha. I guess. So, uh, Mary says, of the newest cycle, I love Vision and Valkyrie. Spectrum surprised me with how much I enjoyed her mechanic. You know, we'll have to get Mary on to play Valkyrie. I mean, maybe she'll uh, teach us a thing or two. Um, I think I have like a basic package of Valkyrie that does okay. So no, um, I mean, you have some aspect cards, but like, I mean, it's the like power of, yeah. And all of us. And are you drawing yeah. cards? I mean, is it based yeah. around like Avengers mansion and it's, it's all about resource ga drawing and, and drawing cards. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it basically makes up for that weakness. Right. And then you, you, I mean, you have fury, you have, you know, yeah, like any, anything anything that draws right? you cards. It's, yeah, I, I I played her that way too, and I mean certainly you put her in leadership and get more card draw from there as well. I think you. I don't. I don't know. I don't think I did leadership, but uh, it the problem with base package is like she also really does want some aspect cards. Um, well, I mean but, aggression is where uh, people want to build her because that's just more damage for all the attacks you can do. Um, yeah, I think I. When my basic, I did it with Justice and with, like, Interrogation Room and stuff. Um, the only downside with that in Solo is you just don't have reliable ways to pull enemies. But I think it can work okay yeah. in multiplayer. Well, because um, you don't need to have because enemies just... if other people have enemies. Because she just wants to kill something. And again, she really only wants to kill one thing a turn. 
She doesn't need to kill five things, even though she can potentially. But that just means that's all she's doing. Um, yeah. So let's see. Mary also says, I'm building more of an appreciation for Wasp. I think a lot of Wasp hate is from people trying to play her like Ant Man, which she's not designed to do. And I think that's true. Yeah. I agree with that. Uh, I think a lot of people were disappointed with her when she first came out because Ant-Man right, because Ant-Man first. was just so good uh, and so straightforward right out of the box. Yeah, I think it's just because he was easier to kind of wrap your mind around, um, and so uh, I mean, in some ways, it like all this stuff I think kind of makes sense. Like they're closing out, and they have said right, like in interviews, like they're they're done with this like story arc. And they're moving on from kind of Avengers and Guardians, uh, like at least for the time being. Uh, I think you know, like we may get some more. I'd love those, to see but, more Asgard, uh, honestly. Um, I think they're you know pivoting away from it for now, and so like I do think in the earlier part of that cycle, you're gonna get more of the obvious kind of things, and then so I think at this end here it was very much like filling in pieces that yeah. they wanted to fill in. Yeah. So uh, Bahamut says hood looks really, or hood is really squishy. Star Lord should be able to burn him down if he just doesn't die. Um, and that's the thing, right? <laughs> well, he's got if. that defensive card, uh, right? That, that for every encounter card in front of him, he defends or he has something like that, right? Yeah. I mean, I think hood has, isn't super tanky, but like, He's not super tanky. Uh, I feel like the tough part with Hood is foul play actually feels like you're just getting a, like, like for us, right? Like, extra you're surge. saying that uh, it feels like we're not making a lot of progress, but it's because of all the extra, yes, cards. Like, he has insane acceleration. And so I feel like it is hard to kind of keep okay, up with it. Okay, so let's get beyond heroes. We've talked heroes. Let's talk about villains now. Yeah. Um. All right. Oops. War machine still sitting here. All right. So. Is this right? All right. So five. Why does it look like there's six in each? Oh, campaign cards. Because it's okay. campaign. All right. So those are campaign cards. So we ignore those. So there's five in each set, plus a couple well, of them have extras, and then actually. Yeah. Plus them have the right. scenario packs. Do you have a favorite scenario pack? So we got Wrecking uh, Crew, Mutagen, probably, probably Kang, Kang for me. and Hood. Kang's my favorite. So, so if you pick Kang's up one, I agree with you. Although Kang seemed long at the time, he doesn't feel long anymore. I feel like this latest cycle of villains definitely feel pretty long. Kang does have three stages, but stage two is kind of, I don't know, it's a... He actually has four stages, uh, but one of them is just instantly progressive. Well, right, right. But that's what I'm saying. You're, you're basically fighting against three different Kangs. I mean, he's certainly the most interesting for Solo for me. Um, I mean... I also just like the journey, the progression. Like, that's kind of when they first really, I think, started going down that path. Well, and then the middle uh, one, I think it's all like the Kangs are different, too. So that's fun for solo yeah. because it doesn't feel like you're playing the same one i would probably agree although i don't know only one of the two goblins is good but the one goblin that's good is really good uh and it's got extra modulars in it um hood's good just because of yeah i mean it, it's a good scenario but i don't know if it's like particularly interesting to me i don't know i, I always love going back to goblin to uh, like the second goblin um mutagen yeah, I mean, formula. risky business. Yeah. I feel like can be saved. I I think I think it's great for the time and was what we needed and wanted. Uh, but I I just feel like as a scenario, it's not particularly well. Interesting. It is if you want to just kill minions over and over, right? I mean, certainly Ultron gives you that as well. But I feel like it's more fun in Mutagen because they're not just like your cards face down and you're not losing out on your cards. I feel like if you want a minion horde. Mutagen's still probably the best one in the game. I I like uh, Drax more than uh, Mutagen, Drax. personally. I was so about Drax. to say, what the heck are you talking about? What's Drax? 
Yo, know, Brotherhood of Brotherhood Badoon. Brotherhood of Badoon. Yeah, yeah, I mean, but it's easier, right? I mean, mutagen's tough. Like, mutagen's, like, I, I still think mutagen's a hard scenario to this day. Um, the only thing that makes mutagen easy is if you give them goblin gimmicks. Like, I feel like goblin gimmicks is, like, one of the easier modulars in the game. But beside that, I feel like mutagen's just rough. You just start with minions in front of you, and they just keep coming. You still with me? Yeah. I mean, I mean, it is... It, it, it's just it's very basic right like you know what you're getting and, and that's all you're gonna sure. get uh i think for me brotherhood of badoon is more interesting because there's more to it like you have to be able to both port and do this thing and uh i, I ship commands one of my favorite modulars uh of just like kind of being able to like deal like deal with stuff like i, I think it's just like more well points. yes because I thought it was going to um, be... And, and, and Mutagen feels more pure. Like, just pure, like, you know what you're getting. Uh, it's very just, like, Marvel champions sure. down to the basics. Um, which is great, I think, in the first cycle. Yeah, it's interesting. I, I do agree that the ship encounter is one of the best encounter sets in the game. Not as a standalone, though. I think in in the missions that it is intended to go in... So in the Galaxy's Most Wanted set, I thought it was going to be dumb because it's like, okay, it's just an extra resource for you, the Milano. Like, I mean, that's just always good, right? But I think the things that they put in there for you to do with it and like removing threat or take less damage or whatever else by using Milano, I thought were very interesting. I still think actually Galaxy's Most Wanted are some of the most interesting scenarios in the game. I mean, certainly Collector 1, Collector 2, and Drang, as you said, or Brotherhood of Badoon, are three of the more interesting in the game. I think people just got pissed when they got to frickin' Nebula and uh, Ronin. You know, I actually think the first three are actually very good and fun scenarios. I mean, Collector's pretty annoying, the first Collector, but he's certainly makes you think differently, right? Yeah. Um... And I don't necessarily even think that means deck building differently. I think it means certainly you can deck build around him, but I do think it means potentially even playing differently, like not relying on chumping as much or whatever else. Yeah. I mean, I think Gamora does particularly well because she's yeah. that heavy. Um, but yeah. Uh, I guess coming back to... Uh, I feel like we're we're supposed to be reviewing uh, the Mad Titan Shadow cycle, and we're just talking about every other scenario sure. in the game. I mean, uh, he Mad Titan Shadow, but... Ebony Maw, super interesting. Um, tower defense for me, super interesting. Thanos, a little bit of a slog, but still very interesting with the Infinity Gauntlet. Hella, one of the more interesting move forward scenarios in the game. Uh, and Loki, I can't remember what's Loki's stick. I mean, I know he has the Gauntlet. It's where you have to, like, kill multiple of them. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Eh, that one's a little bit of a slog, honestly. I could do without Thanos or Loki in that set. But the other three, I think, are very interesting. Um, and, I mean, I don't mind those two, but but to me, Thanos and Loki are the least fun-to-play-against scenarios in the set. Yeah, uh, I know a lot of people like this box, uh, and I'm probably the contrarian, but uh, I don't know if it's one of my really? favorite boxes. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, I guess I should have uh, figured that out when you said you liked Red Skull better. Like, I just, I don't know. I don't know if I would put Red Skull above it, but uh, I mean, I think Ebony Ma's fine. The spell oh, things is see, like. See, that was so fine. cool the first like, time I played it, and I still think it's cool. Um,. I play, I've gone back to it as a standalone, and it's fine, right? Like, you get the stuff out. Uh, they kind of remind me a lot of, like, time counters and uh, Lord of the Rings, except you can't right. do anything about them. Uh, you just have to eat them. Uh, but you can prepare for them, at least. 
Yeah. Um, you know, I, I think tower defense is like, sure, it's a better wrecking crew, but it's still like, I don't know. I, I don't think it's particularly great. Um, it's fine. Uh, uh, I actually like Thanos more than you do. Uh, he's challenging. I think he's definitely a better Ronin. Uh, like, if you want that kind of in your face, hard, but I think he's fair kind of thing. And I really enjoyed how they interpreted the snap for the second one, uh, the second uh, snare card. Um, yeah, it's just, it's just. But yeah, he throws a lot at you, and he's, but he like, he's very beatable, right? Yeah, it's like, just the the glove is annoying. Uh, it's just, I don't like it because it's, I don't like any scenario that drags out, and I feel like Thanos drags out. more than some of the other ones but anyway keep going uh i think hella is probably the best scenario in the box by a long Hela's shot very um, good. she's yep. the most interesting yeah the most interesting uh like i said i like the journey thing uh but you know i'm predisposed because of lord of the rings but i think it you know like it it changes up the stuff and keeps it interesting and she's also challenging she right like you have to both you have to both kill the the like kind of mini boss or whatever, right? Uh, before you can even thwart down the side scheme, but it's nice to see you go on that journey. And so uh, it does require actually a lot out of you, I think, when you're building a deck, especially in true well, solo. And as um, she levels up, or as you go through those things, she levels up in a more organic way than beating the first one and yeah. then you get to a harder one, right? Like, I... I feel like it's more yeah. interesting that she levels up the further in you get, where the other ones are like, oh, if they get beat up enough, they get more powerful. I feel like it's more interesting that she gets more powerful as you get through schemes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it kind of reminds me of like, uh, I feel like Mike's been talking about like the Astronaut stuff, of like how they fixed and well, fix, but like streamline Aeon's end. Aeon. Reminds me of like, I, I like it way better way. than Aeon's end. Aeon's end is one of my. I really like Anne's end, but I think Astro Knights fixes like everything I had a problem with. Um, except yeah. for the turn order thing. But again, I house rule that, so I don't care. Uh, and then, yeah, Loki to me is like, you want to talk about slog. I feel like he's way worse than Thanos. Like you got to kill like multiple of these guys. They can come in and out. And they're like, not interesting. I uh, really he's... don't feel like they're, I mean, they're different, but they're not that much different. And they're not, I don't find any of them that interesting. Yeah, and then he gets the gauntlet, which I'm sure you dislike too. Well, the but, gauntlet um, just adds an extra layer, right? I mean, that's part of the reason I think it's a slog for for Thanos. It's just an extra thing you got to do, and remember to do every single time they attack. It's like, oh, I got to put a card out, and I just feel like they make stun and confuse so much better, you know. And stun and confuse are already really good, and like, so if you, you could... well, except you can't do that on Thanos. Oh yeah, so so. I don't know. Um, and I think Hood's honestly pretty good too, but super random. Uh, I actually found him really, really challenging, even on the easier yeah. modulars. Uh, like easier modulars in his well, set, right. at least. Um, you don't know what you're going to get, um, and it's very RNG, but man, just the amount of foul play cards you're getting. I even think on easier modulars, he's just, it is hard to keep up with him. You know, like as we saw. Yeah, tonight. he can be. So, a, he's definitely. But on, then like, he was the easy to kill once we got there, right? Team. Like literally, we flipped him and killed him in two turns. Although I feel like that's true for a lot of villains. Like, it's. Yeah, but I think basically because we weren't getting like three, four, like three, four cards a turn, right? Like, yeah. I mean, that acceleration, I think, is you. You can't just ignore it. Um, I think he's know. one of the better values in the game uh, for sure. Uh, just because of all the modulars you get, even if for no other reason. Um, if you're just looking for more variety, even in the core set, I think Hood. I think Hood is not a bad second buy if you don't want to buy a core set or or a uh, you know a big box expansion. I, I don't think Hood would be bad to buy second um, after you buy the core set. No, I think he would provide a lot of replayability uh... to the core set. I I don't disagree, but he would be really hard, I think, if you used one of your first pickups after the course set. Just like with how like just sure. as they've gone. 
But if you're just looking to mix his modules into other stuff, I think yeah. that's Yeah, and I do think you could play against him. You just have to cherry pick your modulars. Um, you know, you play against Bob Squad. You play against some of the lower end ones. And I think you'll be fine. The problem is, and, and this is, I'm sure somebody's done it, but like they don't really rank the modulars anywhere as far as difficulty goes. And I wish they did. I think just the core set, no, right? There were, there were a couple after the core set that had some difficulty as well. I actually feel like Red Skull did a better job than even the core set. I don't think the core set really told you. Uh, maybe I'm misremembering. But I feel like Red Skull told you. But maybe I'm totally misremembering at this point. Or maybe it's Kang that told you. I feel like somebody told you after the core set, but I, I can't remember. But no, overall, it doesn't do a great job. Um... One thing when you're not playing on TTS is I think Hood is the most annoying scenario to sure. set up. Uh, just because if you lose and you have to reset, you will have to split the deck apart yeah. every time. Which, when I was playing him, I did lose many times. So I uh, actually got kind of annoyed playing. Yeah, no, I could see that. I could see that. Especially like if you get somewhat far and you're like, you have mixed like five, six <laughs> modular sets into that deck. Uh it can take a little while. But. So you're down on the uh, main core set of this cycle, but you're up the main, the main campaign, campaign box, box, but you're up on the heroes. Whereas I'm a little bit the opposite. I really like the campaign box. I really like the scenarios in there for the most part. I mean, I mean that's the crowd opinion. Like most people put Mad Titan as their favorite box, yeah. I think. Uh, like it, they they feel like it redeemed the game from how terrible. Well, Galaxy I most mean, it is. Whereas, yeah, Galaxy's most wanted was just hard. I don't or, know that it was terrible. I think it was just hard. Uh, yeah, I mean, Galaxy's. I mean, maybe this is just a common theme for me because uh, I enjoyed the, the heroes this cycle because they were hard. But uh, Galaxy's to me is the is probably the most interesting design for me. I think overall, like if you look at the design of the scenarios and. I still love going back to those scenarios and playing them standalone. Uh, I think it's probably one of the worst campaigns uh, in some senses, though I did enjoy like the kind of buying and choosing right. the cards. But uh, I feel like a lot of stuff became kind of obvious, right? Like you take the permanent. Well, upgrades, yeah. Duh. Uh, I mean, especially the ones that thwart um, and, but... uh, and attack for free. And yeah. I mean, it, when you get it like that's what makes venom so good is that one weapon the multi-gun it's just it's ridiculous it's like two free thwart or two th free attack every turn like whatever venom wants to do like his gun can just do the opposite or help him out if if need be um but yeah i mean i i think uh i think it's probably my favorite cycle just because uh I know I wasn't speaking super high of the heroes, but I did really enjoy the Guardians kind of cycle hero-wise. Uh, some solid heroes, some challenging heroes to kind of, uh, I think, like, build decks around. Um, and then, yeah, the, the cycle itself, like, uh, was also, I think, hard and interesting. Um, and I don't know, like, I, I guess I'm curious, like, how often you think you'll come and revisit stuff from Mad Titan? Oh, I think I will. Uh, I like I really game. like those first couple scenarios. I know you don't, but I really like them. Um, and again, the heroes. I'm not a huge fan of the heroes, but I I like the villains quite a bit. And I mean, especially Hella. I mean, I feel like we we revisit her quite often. So, and I realized that our faces were literally covering half the stuff I was trying to show off, but that's fine. Uh, <laughs> it's like. People heard us. So, but what I think I'm going to do is say goodnight because it's been pretty long. But let's say of the four cycles, we'll count everything from core through the. Like each row cycle? Yeah, everything from core through, um, through Rise of Red Skull is cycle zero or one, whatever you want to call it. What is your favorite cycle so far, both heroes and uh, villains? tough one uh i mean i know i was super down on galaxies but i feel like the villains make up for me uh because i mean overall like i think all the cycle hero wise are like 
good. Right. Uh, just some are more or less interesting or whatever, but like, I think they've all been like out of anything in this game. I think the hero design is like some of the best, uh, like yeah. parts of the game. Uh, and so at that point, I think you're just measuring to some degree, like on villains. And to me, galaxies is my, is probably my favorite. I'm going to go red skull for everything. Really? Weren't you just trying to say that people should buy Mad Titans? Like for the box, like ten minutes ago. No, for the box, for the for, for the, the villains, I agree. But I said overall, a whole cycle. I mean, it's overall. got Black Widow in it, one of my favorite heroes. Uh, it's got uh, Black Widow is pre pre Red Skull, by the way. What? Black Widow is part of the set of heroes that came out. Oh, well, Corset. then maybe I changed my mind. Maybe it's Corset, then. That might be Corset. Uh, I, I feel like it's I, I feel like it's hard to judge, too. Oh, you're right. Like, no, 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 because it's got Ant-Man, Wasp, they, Quicksilver, and Witch, which I don't like. They, they got 11 heroes. Like, if you're judging that, that's like 11 heroes. In well, one yeah, thing but it's like only five scenarios. But it's less villain content. Because I mean, Wrecking Crew and and Goblin is part of that, right? Is it? Is it though? You got you you get with Goblin with Goblin alone and the core set, you have five scenarios. Yeah, but one of those and are terrible. You have so you have six. Yeah, but you still have six scenarios. You have six scenarios. Well, and no, two of the six are terrible. Though. Counting all that. Wrecking Crew and I mean it's playable, but and and uh, risky business. Are almost unplayable. Uh, I mean, I I feel like Rusty Viz is not that hard to fix. I mean, it's it's more interesting, but I don't know. That being said, maybe I do go with this most recent set. Um, given that, uh, yeah, because I don't know that the scenarios are as interesting at the beginning. Although I still play them all the time, so who knows? Yeah, I mean, I think I would go with Core Set. And the, that first set of heroes. Just the heroes are so strong for me in that set. They're some of the most fun to yeah, play. I, I, I mean, even right out of the base box. Um, That it makes up for the lack of great scenarios. I still think Ultron is pretty great. And actually, those first three are great. I mean, Rhino's one of the most fun, quick scenarios that the game has. You know, it's like you just get your butt beat or you beat it up real quick. So, yeah. I basically never go. Back oh, really? I play Rhino quite often. Um, I, well, but it's quick. That's why. Like, it's a quick way to test your deck. Now, and it's also a good way. It's just, it's just not, it's just not a very good test for me. He doesn't, he doesn't flex enough stuff. Well, it means um, your deck has to be fast. So, if you want to go against something where your deck needs to be fast. He's good at that. I, I don't even think Rhino requires a deck to be fast. Like, you can definitely beat him with, like, decks that are slow. Yeah, I guess. Um, but if it wasn't that one, maybe... I mean, Galaxy certainly has my favorite heroes. Um, and, and there are plenty of fun scenarios in there, so it might be Galaxies as my second one. Um, I just don't love the heroes from Red Skull. Like, really? I mean, Hawkeye's, Hawkeye's one of my favorite heroes, heroes but Ant Man's one of your no, favorite heroes. No, not really. I mean, Ant Man's fine. Well, I do like his, I do like his army of ants cards and building around that. Um, so yeah, I mean, he's fine. And actually, I, honestly, the two from the box are two of my favorite. Spider Woman and Hawkeye are two of my favorite from that entire cycle. I don't love Quicksilver. Scarlet Witch is pretty good. Um, I mean, I'm not saying good or bad, just for me. it's She's pretty fun. Um, yeah. I think Miss, I think uh, Scarlet Witch reminds me a lot of, like, Captain Marvel. Uh, like, if you like cycling through cards and seeing, through, seeing your deck, uh, you get a lot of that kind of feel. Um, because Mystic is just well, it's super funny. Strong. You just play more Hexbolt uh, than that. me too. Like I really like the other one that does just a butt ton of damage. Yeah, it's, but it's that's just such an end game card for well, me. Well, sure, uh, but it lets you Hexbolt get to the just... end game faster too. <laughs> I 
I mean, Hexbolt to me is kind of like, I don't know. I find it actually one of the most boring cards in the game. Because it's like, it takes forever to resolve, and 90% of the time, it's just replacing itself with cards. Or giving you a status effect and giving you half the cards back. Like, I don't know. I mean, status effects are, turns out, super strong. Well, sure, uh, but game. to get that one uh, status effect, you've literally drawn two cards, which is also good, obviously, going through your deck faster. But, like, I don't know. It just seems like a it's a, a time spend. And any... Status effect cards, like in aspect wise, are three cost cards. Yeah. And with Death Focus, Hex Bolt's one And not cost only card. one cost, but it usually pays for itself, right? Because you usually draw Either that card itself back. Or... She also has no thwarting cards outside well, of Well, there is that. Just putting that out there. So. so, like, it's like kind of her main ability to kind of do stuff. Um, I don't know. It, it, it kind of reminds me of like the Simon of Dice Rolling. Uh, if you like that, I do, games. but as the uh, other player playing, focus. it just takes a while. I mean, now we slowed down to show the audience right. and everything else, so there is that, but yeah, I mean, in solo, like, she oh, no, no, no. yeah, yeah. in solo, I don't mind her at all. I'm just saying multiplayer, I think she plays a little slower than I like. Um, and again, that's if you're stopping uh, to look at every card, yeah. too. I, I think you should revisit Wasp, uh, she's actually super. I think she has. I think with newer card pool and stuff, she is. Well, we've got really some time girl. before the new set uh, comes she, out, so maybe we do revisit Wasp. Uh, I think she was a good hero at the time, but I think she's definitely much better. Uh, maybe we do as, Wasp Quis- Quicksilver because we haven't seen a Quicksilver deck in a while either. Not a good one, yeah. certainly. I don't know that I've ever made a good one, so. I think you're the one who's played them. Played yeah, and I'm not I'm, because you are super excited about Quicksilver. Yeah, design. and I just I've never been able to make them work. I just I don't know what it is. He I, reminds I think, me of a worse. Uh, ironically, he's just a slower what? hero. <laughs> he's just a slower hero, uh, which is kind of the yeah. ironic thing. Um, but uh, I mean, Quicksilver aggression is super strong. Um, he just reminds me of a worse but, Captain uh, America, in all honesty. I think it's a kind of different hero than Captain America, but I mean, how many times did you drop a card to ready Captain America? Well, I didn't, but I think a lot of people do. I think I did not necessarily play him optimally, but it was also the scenario we were playing. I don't think it allowed, there was just not enough time to do it. I think you want to do it more than what I did, but it just didn't work out that way. But anyway, Terrence, it's getting super late. This has been a four and a half hour stream kudos to everybody who survived this uh entire time and i'm sure people are just gonna watch it in multiple segments uh so uh wasteland at 214 i'm gonna point this out said i've got to get some sleep uh good to see you guys play tonight i'm looking forward to getting some games at the con yes look forward to seeing you at con of heroes but then at 222 which is eight minutes after she went to sleep said quicksilver is so fun <laughs> so i just thought it was funny that those were like back-to-back uh um comments from her uh I, it sounds like you have to end i do i do i'm gonna have to end it so everybody can go to bed but thank you so much for hanging out with us tonight uh thank you terrence as always it's great um but yeah your streams are way longer than anybody else's probably because we just talk forever um but there yeah. is that. And we did play two games tonight, so we had fun with that as well. But good night, everybody. Thank you for joining us. And we will see you next week with some, I guess, Quicksilver and Wasp. That's good. Bye.